gonna go to bed though. Go to bed. Literally the second that I start. Don't care. Well, I just wanted to say good night. It's midnight and I have to stream tomorrow too. Uh, I will right. join you with uh like I just gonna mute myself. I just need to clean all the shit on the kitchen because it's dirty as fuck. <laughs> clean all the what? Kitchen. Ah, uh, yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Always clean your kitchen, otherwise you will start getting roaches and mice and stuff. Silverfish and that. Silverfish. Don't get me started. Mm -hmm. All right. I love you all. Talk to you. In Have the a good morning. night, buddy. Good night, dude. I should at least get a snack cooking in the toaster oven. I just, I, I woke up like 30 minutes ago. 40 minutes ago, something like that. 3, 8, 3 a.m. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> almost done with the first shot. I didn't expect it to take so damn long, but... There are five mostly animated char six mostly animated characters in this shot. But we're almost done. We're getting there. Uh, it might still be Easter for some people. Easter. See what color are we gonna go for today? Not that one. <laughs> what was wrong with that one? Too pink. <laughs> too vivid. Uh, fair enough. Mad questions. I got mad questions for you. All I'm going to say is in episode three, there's going to be a lot of stuff explained. I don't want to like fully ruin everything, but yeah, it was on purpose. A lot of stuff was left unanswered, of course. <laughs> Let me fix this as well.
Yeah, the that one's retconned. Because I, I, I didn't actually end up using that. <clears throat> that was before I had an idea of what the full story was going to be. I made that a long time ago. I wrote the script a long time ago. I wrote the song a long time ago. <laughs> I think this will do. This is a pleasant enough theme. Can't wait to make the music for this one. I don't like trying to make a song live. It's kind of like I, I don't like doing writing as well. I don't like I don't like showing my notepad and writing while people watch and give suggestions and stuff. I like I I will gladly show people my process, like my FL Studio stuff. But like sitting here, like improvising on a song and trying to figure out what sounds right. If I know that there's like 200 people listening in, I won't be able to focus. Sometimes I play piano.
why this D drive keeps failing. <clears throat> It'll be some driver fault or something. Surely I don't need a driver for an external hard drive. I don't know. I wish I could go camping. I want to go ice fishing. <clears throat> smelting. Absolutely, I'd love to go smelting up in Maine. At least go break my hip on the Sugarloaf Mountain.
have to go get a snack, so I'll be back in a minute. Might just have some soup this morning.
All right, I got my soup. Let me eat it and I'll be back on in a few minutes.
it one sec. What kind of soup? Butternut squash. With some barbecued franks cut up into little chunks. They, they, they went together all right. They went together all right. All right, what are we getting to here now? More lizard heads. <clears throat> And I'm choreographing the scenes as I go, so I don't quite know yet what's going to happen after I finish the scene. The gist is... He lands with the ship, gives the launch key to Pyotr, Pyotr tests it out, having Wolf hold his shashlik while he pokes the buttons on it. Wolf looking at the barbecued bugs on a stick. Pyotr sees that the ship is connected to the launch key and that Wolf isn't lying. So he looks at Wolf and sees that he's like looking at the barbecue bugs on a stick and he tells him to try one. And Wolf hesitates for a minute, and the computer's like, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Wolf's just like, whatever. And, and he lifts it up and takes a big bite out of one of the bug things on a stick, chews it, swallows it, you know, nods a little, he's like, it's interesting. <laughs> and he hands it back, you know, maybe the other guys are laughing seeing a, a furred being eating their food. And Wolf mumbles a comment, something like, never thought I'd miss the food on Corneria, as he gets into the car. And then they drive and uh, they, they, he takes him. Yeah, it's, it's a little Starlink quote. And people who played Starlink will be like, that's what he said in the game! <laughs> But yeah. Chopped jalapeno and rotini noodles. That sounds good. Soup is my favorite thing in the world. I have stomach issues and, and soup is the one thing I can always eat that I feel like my stomach feels happy and, and I feel good afterward. Hey, Cactus, I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> What's my favorite soup? <sighs> Probably homemade borscht or solyanka. I'd say solyanka, probably. Borscht, close second. Mm, yeah, that shit was good. I want to make it proper next time. I mean... Good last time, so what we'll do, we'll go to Taste of Homeland and ask them for a recipe. Mm, yeah. What's the stuff that tastes like asparagus? Fiddleheads. Those are good with some butter. I've never heard of that. That's the, the little fiddlehead fern things that grow around here, and you can pick them. You know, I hadn't seen 
seen them, but I think I remember y'all talking about it at one point. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's these little ferns. And the ends of them, when they're ripe, they look like this. And you fry them and eat them. You just go out in the field and pick them, as long as there's no, like, raw sewage anywhere or anything. There was a, there was a flood of one of the sewer channels, and they, they banned fiddlehead picking for the rest of the year because it got contaminated. But, yeah. They, like, these, like, you, you, you fry them or cook them and, and dip them in melted butter or whatever they taste very similar to fried asparagus they're, they're very very good and it's a local thing there's street signs there's traffic signs but, but like the, let me see I'm gonna try to find the actual signs <laughs> there we go yeah oh 108 <clears throat> it's not like fiddleheads here it's just it's it's the sign for a nature walk i believe but it's a fiddlehead they're like a, a local thing they're pretty good i've had them i'm not really a fan of asparagus but i've had fiddleheads and, and they're fine they're like asparagus but not as i don't know little wilder tasting but I, I, i'm always fascinated when you can go out in the wild and just pick a uh, bush taco <laughs> have something to eat <laughs> traditional new brunswick fiddlehead soup ah uh. Yeah, they're not nearly as pungent as uh, asparagus is. I don't hate on asparagus, but I like them the best pickled. I like pickled asparagus as a garnish in a Bloody Caesar drink. Staying up, Bubba. I'm actually gonna be going to bed here in about five minutes. Yeah, well, it's almost 4 a.m. for me. I know it's your bedtime. Yeah. No pressure. Kroshka, but they brought me the different one. I want to try a Kroshka. It's a Russian cold soup oh, yeah. that you pour kvass into. <clears throat> Any good pictures on here? Except for the kvass one. If you pour the kvass in, it just looks like someone poured their Coca-Cola into their vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Yeah, let's take a look. 
I am Peter. My family has had this recipe for 20 genera- Okay, skip, skip, there we go. Yeah, this is, this is the cold soup I'd like to try. You can get an idea of it from the ingredients. Cucumber, radishes, hard-boiled eggs, potatoes peeled, ham steaks cubed. There's a type of kvass meant specifically for pouring in Akroshka. So I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know, Slava, have you ever had it? If you're not poning noobs in Overwatch or cleaning your kitchen, mm, uh, he'll be he back. He is actually idle. He may be idle. A dollop of sour cream added when you serve it. Yeah. Wait, that's it? One more pictures. Yeah. That's a Kroshka. So there's the radishes, potatoes, cubed ham, the dill, and you know, like any Russian soup just about, you gotta put a dollop of sour cream and a little sprig of dill in there. Mushed up hard boiled eggs. Yeah. <clears throat> I love miso. All right, dude, I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> Have a good night. Каждый раз, когда я ем суп, мне нравится мой суп со сметаной и укропом. Немного укропом. Всегда очень вкусный. Как вы себя чувствуете? Hello, Jasper. How's it going? Доброе утро. Мои новые гости! Доброе утро! Как дела? Надеюсь, все в порядке у вас? Или нет? Ой. Ой, бля. А, слишком рано. Слишком рано для этого. Мой суп был очень вкусный. Спасибо вам.
I need to fix my posture. Tijuana. Tijuana. Now it's if you're Latino, that means that you're from Latin America, right? Hispanic would just means that you're from a country whose main language is Spanish. So I think almost all Latinos are Hispanic, but not all Hispanics are Latino. Or I, I maybe I have it back. No, no, Latin, Latin America. That's how I remembered it. La Latino is Latin America. So and I think. Uh, where else is considered it was uh, Latin America but also some islands like Q not Q well Cuba is considered part of uh, let's look let's look this up Latino versus Hispanic <clears throat> yeah Hispanic refers to a person with ancestry from a country whose primary language is Spanish Latino and its variations refer to a person anywhere from Latin America, Mexico, South and Central America, and the Caribbean, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was another place that was already included in Latin America. Oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of, but I thought Costa Rica was already part of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> let's look it up. Chad GPT, what is the, the, the? Yeah, it's Central America. That's. I just remember it from uh, Jurassic Park. It's the first time I'd ever heard of Costa Rica. The rich coast. Oh yeah, those two bugs I reported, already fixed. <laughs> Gotta love it. I seen much, much better days, and I stopped feeling better now. Listen to the band play, you know, make it turn it up now. Much, much better days. You wrote me a, a what you call it? Cagdila! Space Dog. Привет, Волк! Как приходит работа на эпизодом? Это... Это... Проходит очень хорошо. Этот... Этот эпизод... Очень хорошо проходит. Мой словарный запас еще очень маленький, друг. Чувак! <laughs> Я американец. <laughs> Я должен сказать чувак! После каждого слова. <laughs> Dude, dude, как дела, dude? Как вы себя чувствуете, dude? <laughs> Dudes, how would you say dudes in Russian? <laughs> oh yeah, чуваки. Со мной чуваки, они не дураки. Ой, блин. Я не один, и мы идем в магазин. 
So, I, there's a little rhyme. I, I я сделал это uh, раньше несколько лет назад. Я сделал uh, маленькие фразы. Uh, это идет как uh, со мной чуваки, они не дураки. Ой, блин, я не один. И мы идем в магазин. Хардбас. Простите меня, это еще очень рано. Здесь час четыре часа и пятьдесят четыре минуты. Хардбас. Звонить. Хардбас говно, а вы дебилы. Он должен умереть. Да. Мы еще. Мы ищем его. У вас уже ночь. Нет, нет, нет. А, а, утром. А здесь. Здесь утро. Четыре часа. Пятьдесят пять минут. Почти пять ночи. Или... На самом деле, в Америке мы говорим пять утра. Пять утра. В России я, я знаю, что вы всегда сказали... Пять uh, uh, ночи. Четыре ночи. Здесь это будет утро. <laughs> Я встал uh, два часа назад. Did I say that right? I didn't, wasn't even thinking about that. Я встал два часа назад. Да, да, точно. Хопа. Добро пожаловать и доброе утро всем и кем говорит по-русски. Я приглашаю всех, кто говорит по-русски, помочь мне. Помочь мне, пока я, я сам учусь говорить. Простите за грамматику. Это еще очень рано. <coughs> не поздно, не поздно. Мы тоже говорим 5 утра, но иногда можем сказать 5 ночи, когда... У нас спать. Не, не, не спать. 
I'm, I, я, я пытаюсь переводить э, твой э, звонок. Когда мы не спали всю ночь. Понял, понял. Я, я попытаюсь помнить. Мой мозг. Ай, болит мой мозг. Еще слишком рано для меня. Сейчас я только могу делать анимации. Нет, нет, нет. Никогда не стойте. Никогда не стойте. М мне нужен практиковать. Все ладно. Быть серьезно. Очень серьезно. Seriously. Uh, talk to me in Russian all you want. It, it's still practice. I, I might... It, it is possible I will miss a message or two. Just know I'm, I'm still working on a cartoon. I get distracted a little bit. No, uh... I like to think Slava's English has gotten better since he hung out with us. <laughs> Sometimes I go back to our old videos, like old recordings of streams from like three, four years ago. And yeah, his his accent and grammar were much more Russian. So like I like even if I don't notice the difference right now, like looking at old videos, even with me. Looking at old videos of me speaking Russian, I, I look now, I'm like, dude, no, it, it's Nikodanya, you idiot. Like, you can say it. It's like, oh, right. This was when I'd only been learning Russian for six months. I knew like 10 words. <laughs> oh, well. Slava, you still f cleaning your kitchen? God, it must be a nightmare if you're still at it.
Неша, вала, мама, мыла, мама, мила, мыла, мыла, мила, мыла, не любила, мыла, мила, уронила. started watching your streams I didn't know you were learning Russian and then one day I heard you speaking Russian suddenly and was so <laughs> I still want to do that one day I want to I want to go like if I'm at a furry convention and there's like a couple of Russian furries hanging out I'm just gonna come over and act like a total redneck just be like hey y'all sound Russian are you Russian furries I'm Frederick Fox. I'm from Tennessee. And uh, is that Russian? Like, what? Y'all speaking? And they're just going to be like, oh, no, this guy, this, this Tennessee man is going to bother us. And I'm just going to be like, well, как вы себя чувствуете? Я знаю, что я американец, но я еще практик. Just bust into it. Just in the <laughs> and then let them know like sorry I, I wanted to play a little bit but yeah I, I've been learning Russian and I like this and this and then I'll show them my tattoo and, and buy them a drink только пранк только пранк стойте стойте пожалуйста это просто пранк брат It's a fake poop! Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, I don't, I don't, I don't support any war. I, I think it's embarrassing that that shit's going on. Sorry, the, the, the only shit that I've noticed about the war is that all of my friends who, who live in all of those places have had their lives turned upside down. They're just like regular people that log into Steam and play Overwatch like everybody else. And now it's like, yep, I have to leave my family and move to Turkey because, you know, everyone's doing the Russia bad thing, so I can't have PayPal anymore unless I move to another country. My Russian teacher and her family had to move to a completely different country because of it, because that's how she got paid. She's a Russian teacher. So, so yeah, like I, not, I'm not going to get into political this, that, or other, and I know that some people who are in certain areas over there can get in trouble for, for saying anything about it, and I want to respect that. So, like, how, however you feel about what's going on wherever, like, I don't want to, like, this, this ain't that kind of stream, <laughs> but... But yeah, the, like I will say, the, the the one thing I will say is that the whole situation fucking sucks. Yeah, and it's, you know, and my buddies who have to deal with that shit, they're moving to a place where sometimes they're like I've heard I've heard from a lot of people in Georgia like there's going to be some people on YouTube that are like, well, we don't want the Russians here, send them home. And they're, they're spies and blah 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 but there's you know like overwhelmingly larger amount of people I believe that are like look you y'all don't support that shit get out of there and every everybody's gonna have a different opinion on that stuff I'm, I'm not here to debate but from the regular normal non-political people I know that like like I say this every time that they, they log into Steam and play Resident Evil just like us and 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 you know oh i'm an artist i'm a furry artist or i make zbrush models for vr chat and now because dude in power wants to do this shit i have to leave my family and go somewhere else to keep doing what i've been doing as a job for years and years and on top of that, those people have pe people on Twitter saying, why don't you stay and, and sacrifice yourself to make your country better? Why, I don't want you here. You know, that's Twitter, though. And you got people on all sides, like, like you know, and it's just like, look, I, 
I, I'm an animator. Like if it happened to me, I'd, I'd have the same mindset. I'd be like, look, I'm an animator. I, I don't, I don't have a gun. I'm not supporting a government doing whatever. I just, I just want to draw my star foxes and, and not get sent to the front lines of some bullshit, you know? It's, it's silly and I hope it gets resolved very soon because it's scary. <clears throat> I've already sent some money and stuff to a couple of my friends, but like they, honestly, every one of them, the, the people that I've been checking on, they've already left. It's not that hard to leave. If you've got some money and a place to go and you have a trade or something you can do for money. That's the thing. Everyone's like, I, a lot of my friends are like, I work online. I do, I'm a YouTuber. I'm an animator. I'm a VR chat model maker guy. Like I get paid plenty, but it's all through PayPal and Stripe or, or the banks or whatever. So I literally have to leave Russia or join the military or go work at Fkusna Itochka, basically Russian McDonald's, and get paid in money that I can only spend here and whatnot. So yeah, like, obviously. Yeah, Slava's not in Russia. He, he left over a year ago. He, he left, like, ex I think exactly a year ago, like, right when the stuff started, right when they started... Oh, yeah, Hey, hey, we're just, no, pe no. people are asking about, like, when, when you left. Yeah, I left uh, on um, April of 7, so yeah, it's exactly one exactly, year ago. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, someone was asking, like, how I felt about what's going on and just... Same thing I always say, it's just like, it sucks. All my friends had to leave, my teacher had to leave. Their whole family and shit, it's, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass. I'm like, and I'm glad that you could, but it, you know, it's still kind of a pain. Even though it is getting you out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I'm still sitting here in the house, at least uh, back in Kaliningrad, I had friends and we can meet up sometimes. Here, I'm just like literally sitting in my apartments and not going anywhere. Well, if it makes you feel any better, all of my friends are hundreds of miles away. I think Zio is the, the closest person I could possibly hang out with. But, you know, people are busy, people are far away. Of course, and, of course. And, and I've, other than those two times that we did the, the, the cabin thing in August and then in November we moved Bubba's stuff from Texas to New England. Uh, like, that's it. In like the past <laughs> six years? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think I went to a con once in 2019, but that was it. Like, I, I don't hang out with anyone. I stay in a basement and make cartoons all day. I, I'd like to get out, but don't worry, don't worry. Like I said, uh, when I get the momentum going on episode three, when when I've, I've I've got like I think I've got about fifteen minutes of the script like written out, like like almost half of what's probably going to be in the episode. May may like I don't know. The episode will be longer if I can afford to have people help me with it. But uh, once I get that momentum going to where like, okay, we're steady, we're ahead of schedule, we've got, hey, Patreon, it's only been this many months and we have this many minutes of episode three already done. And when I can put that out and feel good about it, then I'll take a vacation and I will fly to Batumi. Swear to God, God is my witness. Like, I, I, when I get the chance, I'm going to do that because I want to. I should probably brush up on my Georgian alphabet. Do you know any of the Georgian alphabet? Me? 
Yes. Well, I, I know like half of it, so I kind of can read, but there is a lot of like complicated letters and I didn't know them yet. So I'm basically not confident in reading. <laughs> Meh. <clears throat> Max or... That's the Arma dude. What well, was the Arma dude? I used to be big into Arma 3. I think I remember him from, not Shaq Tack, who am I thinking of? No, I'm thinking of Dyslexic. Dyslexy. <laughs> That's one thing I'd like to get into again, is, is big Arma battles. I miss making missions for Arma. Mike, Mike, thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Witness to the party of an action figure party. Action figures. She's a witness to the party of an action figure party. Action figure. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no, no, uh, uh, I forget what we're. I have a picture of my tattoo somewhere. Is it a tattoo? Why come you know have tattoo? <laughs> 
татуировка. У меня на ноги есть тату. Oh my calf. Cheesy means campy, silly. Here, here's some cheesy music. play at high volume when your roommate is in their room trying to get with a lady. Like, dude, dude, can you guys be quiet and just, like, I brought a girl over, and then, like, when they're in there and they have the door closed, you just start playing this song at full blast. <laughs> wow, maybe this is a <laughs> Couldn't find my tattoo picture. I'm sorry. I'm glad you liked it. Episode three will definitely tie a lot of strings together for sure. can't remember exactly when I got it.
I never really listened to flamenco music, not voluntarily. No, oh, no switching software. Blender is my life. If Blender had a cult, I would recruit people for it. It has changed my life. And I will never go back. Shaders want to load. This would be a good trailer of some art designs for the characters. <laughs> I just always wanted to learn Russian. It was, uh, it's always been a language I wanted to learn since I was a little kid. And this really locks down my my graphics card. Ah, 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 ah. Well, my favorite comic book artists would definitely be my husband and my friend, Greg and Rex. <clears throat> my favorite web comic of all time would be Perry Bible Fellowship. Uh, my favorite actual, like, reader comic book. I don't know, the Max was pretty cool. Roach Mill, Warlock Five, uh, and of course the the Star Fox Nintendo Power comics. That's probably one of the best. It's so much its own thing. Like even back when the Super Nintendo game came out, like it it felt like it was its own thing. for this part. Not too many of them, though. Yeah. Like, I'm loosely using stuff from the lore. Like, yeah, James gets betrayed by Pigma and turned over to Andros. Yeah, there, there's stuff about, like, the, the black hole warp area the realm thing and and stuff like that ah. I can try and look for the picture I know it's on my other phone I just have a hard time finding it At least they're sorted by date. Yeah, if you give me a minute, I'll be able to find it. I just don't actually remember when I got a tattoo.
I, man, I can't sit there and like search through stuff. I, I don't remember. It was before. No, it was before 2020. Good God, I had it in 2019. I need to make a record of it and put it somewhere and be like, hashtag. Did I get the tattoo before I had my puppy? Did I get the tattoo before? Hmm. I think I had it before then. There it is. I found it. I found the video. It looks like she's tattooing my ass. There we go. Problem solved. Wawa. Y'all want to see the back of my naked leg? My 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 tattoo this is my one tattoo that I got in 2019. <laughs> you want to see my leg? One one leg. There you go. I, <laughs> I see your legs. You already are. Yeah, I, I, I drew that actually. I took. Uh, let me find the picture it's based off of. Because there is not a higher resolution image than this one. Here, this is, this is the image it's based off of. <laughs> So not 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 too bad, not too bad. I I took this image and put it into Adobe Illustrator and made a higher like I drew over it and made my own version in vectors. So the, this is the this specific image, this is the highest resolution image of this picture on the internet and I made my own little touch up for it. And I think it translated over pretty well. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I saved the vector, but it was I literally just made it for a tattoo. felt that The violence is a cartoon I'm going to make when I'm done with the Fox in Space Episode 3. There is no animation of the violence yet. Yeah, like, when I got Atomic Heart and started playing and I saw the new Puggy cartoons playing, I was like, yeah, I... Th <laughs> this... <laughs> This is my video game. It was made for me. <laughs> yes, episode three. Unless Nintendo intervenes monetarily and wants me to, you know, do a Star Fox movie. That'd be pretty cool if there was like a change.org. Uh 
petition or something and a bunch of people signed it and Nintendo was like all right all right we should do this fan thing just once let the let the Star Fox guy do a a, a, a cartoon We all know how likely that's going to happen. If he thought I had the guts to do it, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've sat here in a basement for seven years working on my version of the story. Yeah, it would be nice to do a fox in space for the rest of my life, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life animating cartoons about other people's characters. A Fox in Space is my three-part love letter to the Star Fox franchise, which is also going to be my booster on how I, you know, improve my animation skills. So by the time A Fox in Space Episode 3 is done, I'll be ready to go on to my own animated series. Like, Blender, Blender is my life now. Blender is the only thing I really use. I wish I still had, had Blender linked to my Steam account. So you guys could see the roughly, probably 10,000 hours I've spent in Blender. <laughs> Man. I could show you guys a, a deleted scene that I've played on here before. Uh, this is this scene is going to be in episode three. If you're like you're talking about Fox's interactions with Andros in episode three, it like it's it's very much going to subvert your expectations. I know that's not a popular phrase these days, but I mean in in a good way. It's not just you killed my father. Well, see if you can kill me in a duel to the death. <laughs> like you know like some shit like like no no like this is this is gonna be more more on the ground no pun intended more more very much grounded and believable uh, human interactions between characters there i mean it's still gonna have the the, the occasional silliness because I, I think episode one was a little bit more silly than episode two was. Episode two did start out with a little bit of silliness, but it eventually, you know, found where it needed to be and, and, and acted its age, I guess I would say. Stuff never wants to play properly. What are we looking at here? Yeah, so this is this is uh, where w one of the scenes later in episode three, where it finally goes back to present day, and it's Fox and Wolf and Andros sitting there, and Andros is trying to get, uh, trying to explain why Fox should come work for him, and whatnot. And 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 he's like, you could even you know partner up with your friend Wolf O'Donnell here, and and y'all could uh, fetch these resources and things that I need. And Wolf is like, oh yeah, we could go on so many adventures together. And at this point, Wolf is pretty drunk, but we go on so many adventures. So many adventures, kiddo. Uh, Excellent. It'll drive you. Oh, thank you for the gift sub, Cactus. Space Dog P.S. Oh, the adventures, kiddo. Uh, it'll drive you into some nasty habits. I really hope you're getting your money's worth. You sound like you're looking for another black eye, little man. Only if you're looking for another eye patch, you 
you big jerk. Do you know who the hell you're talking to? Very, very well. Yeah, and who's that? A son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then they get up and Boys, please. they're all like yelling at each other and arguing and 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 then he keeps telling them to sit down. He's like, boys, sit down, sit down. And then, you know, and then finally he's like, sit down. And like when he says sit, like he gets up, like they're, they're here. You know, and he's still sitting at the table and they're arguing. And then, and then, uh, thank you for another gift sub to Willie Chi. And cactus and, he, and he's just like sit <laughs> down <laughs> please and even fox is just That's like so uh, what the hell is going on here <laughs> but yeah anyway yeah this is uh it just there's another 20 no this isn't even on patreon this is unfinished i'm gonna eventually edit this and make it a deleted scene that somebody can watch on YouTube but that's it yeah don't don't put that on YouTube I'm telling you right now like it I'm still working on it I'm gonna like edit it together and just upload it as a deleted scene that's gonna be reanimated into episode three <laughs> yeah it, it, thanks for coming out I'm not going anywhere I just got here basically Audiotronics. If 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 you wanna if you wanna clip it and on Twitch or whatever, yeah, but do, don't upload clips of that to your YouTube channel and do like, oh, Fox in space, never before seen, deleted. I will straight up copyright strike you. That's not me being mean. Me being mean would be not giving the warning ahead of time. Don't, don't, uh, like, I, I had to talk to some people who re- They like, uh, every scene so far from episode two, put in chronological order and edited. This is as close to what you guys can see as episode two. And yeah, I straight up told the dude, I was like, please take this down. I've, I've said there's, you were even, I recognize your name. You were in my stream when I said not to do this. If you don't take it down, I'm, I'm going to have to pop you. I'm going I'm to put some hot ones in you, boy. But, but like, like I said, it's like, if it's something I don't want on YouTube and it's from my cartoon, like it, it's always someone be like, never before seen, click here now, but watch these ads so I can make money. I'm like, yeah, no. Don't do that. You wanna you wanna play uh, clips or whatever of it from here? That's fine. Share it, show it to your friends, but don't don't do like the, the upload to YouTube, monetize it, make the title all caps. Never before, super rare. Somebody did that with my drug war soundtrack. Somebody asked and asked and asked, and they just said, oh, "This is the greatest soundtrack." I just I just wanted to know if there was a downloadable thing that I could you know have for personal play or whatever and i was like yeah here it is and then like two days later on youtube super rare all caps description title never before heard frederick fox soundtrack nowhere else can you find and i'm just like wow dude it wasn't even the fact that, that he like uploaded it it was the fact that he just completely lied and was just like yeah i just wanted this for my personal collection and then like 48 hours later it was all time coded and uploaded to youtube i don't even care that it's on youtube it was just like wow you really just gonna like blatantly lie if you had asked me i would have been like yeah sure whatever it was just the the complete dishonesty and the, the, the yeah it was scalping really that's what it felt like I, I didn't get butt hurt over it. I don't fucking care. I'm not making any money off that music. But it was just the the lack of humanity, I guess. It was just very startling. I don't know. That's why I, that's why I don't meet and hang out with people anymore. Because people suck. And they're weird. And they're crazy. 
and I know that's not everybody, but YouTube and Google AdSense have not improved upon that opinion that I have. It's less that I don't like people and it's more that I just don't trust anybody anymore. Someone reaches out to you and wants to do an interview about a painful time in your life and you tell them like, I really don't want to do an interview about that or have an interview about that. And then they literally use you saying that in the interview. <laughs> Basically what people in Hollywood have dealt with for ages now, I guess. I don't know. My, my first experience, I'm always like this naive. Oh, why would somebody do that? You always get that once. You always, you always have that little naive moment of, no one would do that. What? What? But no, look how the, 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 the denial. And then it's, after that, you, you wisen up and you become a little more conservative. And you're like, nope, I'm... I like anyone reaches out to me about this stuff in the future. I'm not even going to tell them no. I'm just not going to engage. I'm just going to be like, oh, well, I guess I missed that email. <laughs> now, if it's someone in your line of work, like Fable and Tracy wanting to interview me on the Lackadaisy podcast thing that they do. That's fine. I know that's somebody that's an animator that, that is that wants an insight into my work for for a crowd of people that are into animation that want to hear stuff about the the, the shop talk, if you will, of of animation work. Stuff like that I'll do. Some random person on YouTube that's trying to get as many views on their video as possible, I trust that less. Because it's going to be, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you can't put links in this chat. We have that turned off. Too many OnlyFans getting linked. <laughs> I don't know why there was a shard on the laugh track, but <laughs> you do you, I guess. Oh, God. What's this, Righteous? You ask a streamer that has to be off the record with about the... Adderall they became addicted to through streaming and blah 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 and of course they put that part in I, I, I would do I would make up something I would make up some wild detail that was completely untrue like I was a truck driver and, and ran over a hitchhiker and didn't stop and got away with it or something and be like don't don't put that part in the interview I, I just I kind of like you and you know, leave that part out of the interview. And and then he said, leave that part out of the interview. But you know me, guys, everybody in chat, big F for Frederick's career. He actually said this next part, you know, like that kind of... <laughs> and, and, and then when, after he uploads the bogus interview, I get to stand over here and cry fake news. Walked in here, I said, wow, it's so sad. You're reporting fake news, my friend. It's tragic. It's like, <laughs> As people be like, yeah, Fred joked about doing this before going on your stream and made a bet that you would give in to the temptation and betray his trust, which you did. And now I owe Fred $20. Uh, yeah, like, absolutely. <laughs> 
but yeah yeah being like yeah i was in this and this and you know i don't don't put this in the interview but and then he said don't put this in the interview <laughs> yeah like yeah people like that you're you are literally a human parasite and you suck have fun being a, a self-made sociopathic uh, news reporter that doesn't care about human yeah a night crawler like that fucking movie jesus christ yeah vultures are cute i like vultures i wouldn't want to like besmirch their their good name comparing them <laughs> i get what you mean i feel you but yeah there are people like that and if you are naive and trustworthy to them it causes them to self-lubricate and drool and start to breathe heavy. <sighs> like they, they love that. They, they, they get wet and horny over the idea that, that you're so naive that you're like, well, I know that I, I feel this about you. You're, a, you're one of the good interviewers and you would never betray our confidence. They, they go home and masturbate to that. A recording of you saying that, like, oh, he's so trustworthy. I'm gonna fuck him up so bad. Oh, ah. Yeah, uh, yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For a for hundred views. <laughs> like, oh man, we're. <laughs> All he had to do was embarrass this guy in front of his family. He's just a fake. It's a fake poop! <laughs> Even if that was horrendously fake, that was a, a great video. Good God. Is this it? Am I, am I about done with the eyeballs? Yo, 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 yo. What, the, the, the fake poop dude? Which dude? Logan Paul? Is he like that, that boxer guy that's like, hey, you guys are up. <laughs> NFT. <laughs> Look at this dead Japanese person. I think they committed, uh-oh. Isn't that crazy, guys? God. That, I, I mean, like, I would rather my kids look up to Beavis and Butthead than look up to someone like Logan Paul. The candy man will take care of him. Putting Logan Paul at the end of it all. Ending his career with the Candyman's Irish gall. That's a good story. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he should, he should do like a, a continuation of the, the Candyman. Maybe, uh, maybe an Italian one. Oh my God, I, I wish. I wish Logan Paul would get cocky enough to go up against Sam. <laughs> it's like, please, please skip over the, the weight boundary. Like, like just d do it. Oh man, let's do it. This guy is a little washed up dude from Adult Swim. He's gonna try to boss me, bro. Oh my God, I wish. <laughs> If I can find a, there's a video I was trying to find. <laughs> there it do. That's what I was trying to find. Real recognize real dot avi. Fox 
Fox in space since 10. Have a good week, Sam and Co. Can't wait. Oh, that's um, Frederick Fox. What's up, playa? I need some grenades. <laughs> Can't wait to hear more about Joyride or whatever else you guys have cooking. Thank you. What's up, playa? Occasionally get a get an email. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and we had uh, he was he was actually. Hold on, where was it? New grounds. It was a new grounds video. What was the damn? Yeah, really. That was really cool. But yeah, all, all that stuff is classic. I got, um, Frederick Fox emailed me his latest thing from the Star Fox thing he's doing recently. Well, he's still around. Fine. <laughs> Fine. And the gayest scene in the cartoon. Of course, the preview. <laughs> What's up, playa? I mean, that's just a greeting from... Back in the day, I reckon. <laughs> Six. Uh, I'm an adult. Oh no, I can guarantee you most of that fan base is like, what is this gay, cringy, furry bullshit? That's, <laughs> that's fine. Sam ain't like that, so it's like, all right. Oh, maybe yes, baby. He's, he's like, it's cool, but it's still it's still furry, cringy bullshit. But it's still pretty cool. For I'd accept that. I don't know. <laughs> now, I, I helped him like four or five years ago with some audio stuff for one of the movies he was working on, and uh, I remember back in the day, like I got introduced to him because people were like, "Dude, you gotta check out his stuff. He's using he, he he likes your videos, and he used some stuff from one of your Frederick Fox videos." Blah 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 blah. I was like, "Well, hey, man." Real recognize real. <laughs> What's up, player? <laughs> regular, Mr. Regular, Mr. Regular, and I have been friends since two thousand three. We made a music video together. And uh, I talked to him like he, I mean, he's, he's been in my voice chat on stream like a couple years ago. He was working on a skit and one of my, yeah, Brian. I, I remember for the longest time, everybody's like, who is this guy? I was like, I know him. And people be like, wait, you know, you know his name? I was like, yeah, but I, like if he, if he doesn't want people to know it, I'm not gonna, like, yeah. I, I, You'd be like, oh, you know him? What does he look like? What is he do? I was like, nah, I'm not doing this, dude. I will reveal it. He looks like this. His name is that. And he's the blah, 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 blah. Get it here. Click here. Exposed on my YouTube channel. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a good dude. He's a good old buddy of mine. Seeing him on the Come Town or Adam Freeland Show podcast was very nice. I can't remember. I think it was still come town. But yeah, I know Brian. Like we were, we were buddies back in the day. Back when we were both trying really hard to make funny internet videos, making fun of furries <laughs> and high school kids. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. I don't keep up with too many people anymore. I'll occasionally send out a, a message on, you know, Patreon or, or Discord DMs or something. But yeah, it's, yeah.
Michael Fangman, thank you very much for the gift subs. To Voltio, to Dunpeel, Silkwood, Rock and Roll Me, 207, Mendiox. Thank you so much. Excellent. <laughs> Video game confirmation sound. Thick. I apologize. <laughs> now I just have to do the arms and the cigarette. And this guy will be done. Then I can go on Piotr, and then when Piotr's done, I'm going to try to get Piotr done today. I'm definitely getting this dude done today. file it's a YouTube video called wise words from Nick Roach for it <laughs> I gotta go tap a kidney I'll be right back I promise see your messages there there is occasionally one or two that are here they are you said sucked me <laughs> your series sucked me in and possibly yeah that, that's the message allowed sucked me yeah it's just if you say two words in a row Like, like, if, if, if you say something like, why are people being so mean to fucking Chinese people? Like, like you're, 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 t you're, you're leaving a message about stop Asian hate or whatever. And you're just saying like, people need to stop being mean to fucking Chinese people. It will block your message because fucking Chinese, like those two words together. You're like, oh, fucking Chinese, blah, 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 blah you know, or whatever, uh, uh, it, it will block things if there are two words in a row that the, the bot thinks are alluding to something hateful or what. I mean, you, you get it. Uh, like, like they're, they're being mean to fucking gay people, and it's like, term, fucking gay people. Because it sounds like, like, oh, fucking gay people. <laughs> 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 
while they're they're dancing around and listening to Ethel Merman and it's a, <laughs> yeah it's just so if your messages get caught it's because you know there's there's two two words or three words together that may have tipped something off and I'm in the middle of drawing so if I don't see the message and click on it it doesn't get passed so I apologize in advance yeah see I have to allow it <laughs> fucking the Chinese is always allowed you can fuck anybody well, I mean, as long as there's the the 2023 guidelines put in place. It is current year. And it is time to fuck. The, the Chinese? Anyone. Anyone? Everyone! Good God. Oh, man, I won't be, like dogging you down or nothing, but it's not like you need to go sit on a cold toilet seat. <laughs> That's what my mama said. Anytime I get too worked up over a main, I just need to go sit down on a cold toilet seat. Get my mind together. Get my head right. Including your mother. Anything that moves, they're fake. All right, I guess it's time to do the, well, once I color in the eyeballs. The eyeballs. There we go. Anybody remember what video game this music is from? You can fuck anybody as long as it meets with the 2023 guidelines based red-pilled Sigma male. <laughs> so I can get faded, elevated, smoke the joint down to a roach, then I ate it. Disgusting. Bleh. This will not be fun. This will be a pain in the ass. I'm not interested. Oh, you caught that's a slice of ham, you bastard! <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier today. I was cutting a slice of ham for something, and while I was eating it, that just popped into my head. <laughs> what are you doing, Slava? I'm Not Jim Oh. You're playing Overwatch. Yeah, it's the last game, and uh, like I start, I start sculpting. match.
probably like gator tail. Gator tail is like a hybrid of catfish and chicken. I don't know how to explain it. Gator tastes like swampy chicken. It's Good night, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Still my favorite piece of a Fox in Space fan art ever.
Would I ever like to go to Beijing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we can go over there and chat right now. Uh, oh, little, little look here, Jack. Just because I've never been doesn't, doesn't mean I don't want to taste the cupcakes over there in their backdoor chicken camp. Uh, not, 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 not a chicken camp. You know the thing, man. Come on, man. I, I want to go. I'd love to go to China. China. Terrific people. I walked in there. I said, wow, that's a lot of people in China. No, I, I'd love to go. I'd like to learn a little bit of Mandarin as well. I don't know how difficult it is learning like a thousand letters. But really, I only need to learn about 400 of them to... to be able to have a basic conversation, which tempts me even more. I want to find some skeletons on the beach. There's quite a bunch of stuff in the scrapped episode two stuff that is just still literally episode three canon. Like the scene where fox and wolf start to fight with each other like that's that's still going in episode three i'm going to reanimate it to make it look better but i don't know i may redo some of the lines but that a son of a bitch line even though it's like what what would the term bitch be in the star fox universe it's like a female dog for breeding, a male dog, blah, blah, like, no, like, they, they don't, they don't have pets. Or if they had pets, they'd be like caterpillars or big bug things or something. So maybe bitch is just like a... A, a slang term for a woman you don't like. I don't know. It could be something else. I'll allow it. The, the toughest script decision that I made in episode two was allowing the word ninja. figure out what else I'm gonna have a sip on. Cedarita. Strawberry, this better not be bad. Oh 
command. Robotic shading? You mean like automatic shit? Nah, yeah, I don't. I, I do all my own shading. But don't get me wrong, Blender makes it a lot easier than it would be otherwise. Just interpolating your shade layers is really good. You do the first frame and the last frame, and it'll automatically smooth everything in between. I don't I don't like using too much stuff. I like everything to still mostly be hand drawn. I don't want to use AI or <clears throat> what's that fucking thing called that that automatically smooths your in between frames or whatever. I I don't want that. EB synth or EB synth or what I was like, no, nope, I, I want my shit to be handmade. I'm religiously against using AI to gem generate imagery for my projects. If other people use it, I don't care. That's fine. I'm not going to be like, oh, you used AI to generate a background in your cartoon? I'm out. No, I'm not, I'm not going to be a prude like that, but I will be a prude regarding my own stuff. I will never use chat GPT to help me figure out something in my story where I'm stuck don't care if other people do like I'm not going to be able to fucking tell but I promise you I will never use anything like that
using AI to remove noise from the background of a voice recording, that I think that's different. Some people can't afford a great microphone. And, and and like I'm I'm totally for AI being used as a tool to a certain extent, but when it starts like helping you with your ideas and stuff, I, I that's that's where I get kind of religious about it. I'm like, nah, I'd, I'm against that. Like I said, if other people use it, that's fine. If you use it for your cartoon and your cartoon interests me enough to sit there and watch the whole thing and I tell you that I really like it, and then you tell me like, oh, well, I used AI for half of it. I'm not gonna go, no, and, and like shrivel up or anything. Like, that's fine. But it's just personally for my own projects, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna eat the pork. It's just, that's just how I feel. I, I don't think it helps make you a better creator. If, you, if you're stuck on a writing situation, instead of just typing it into a prompt and having an AI suggest what you do, go out and have a life experience. Go, out, go for a walk. Go witness a fight on the subway. Go see something. And just, you, you, it gets to come from you. Not because you... you typed in a question on chat GPT and it, and it gave you the, the perfect answer. AI ain't halal, Jack. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of time trying to be halal. I just asked him to open the pod bay doors. I just a halal a lot of loud laughing. Hello, laughing at me, Jack. You did that not, 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 not at me. You know, you know the... <laughs> I'm going to quit. I'm gonna quit. Somebody's somebody's gonna put me on blast. <laughs> Why do you make fun of Joe Biden so much? When, when you can make fun of every president. Or for a while there, like it didn't matter who was president. We had people get made fun of left and right casualties, just blasted. Plus, this does remind me of drawing Wolf O'Donnell's adult hands. His claws weren't so much defined before that. Do I like cats? Eh. I'm more of a dog guy. I mean, I rescued a cat. And he lived to be 17 years old. Good God. I love, I love cats and dogs. Like, they're all precious. I think dogs care about you a little more. But uh, that, that's that's a little biased. Yeah, year before last, we had to let Bigby go. It's never fun, but he was 14. 
Like if you, if you if you have a dog that that lives to be like 14, 15, 16, 17, like that that you you can't feel bad. I mean, you could you could feel sad that they died, yeah, but but like th that's that's a good that's a really good life for a dog. That's that's like a dog living to be a hundred. If your dog lives to be like fifteen or sixteen or something, yeah. Our puppy just turned is about to turn four. So we got him in 2019. He was born on the 4th of July. But he's a Canadian dog, so that means nothing. A. Hey. Let's see where we're at. He's not literally smoking a roach. a little bit better. Why do I prefer 2D over 3D? 3D is better. <clears throat> no, I mean, that's... You might as well come in here and say, fuck apples, oranges are better. I hate to make such a mundane comparison, but... In the term of art... 3D art, 2D art. There is no better medium of art. And I know that in itself is also an opinion, but eh. 
It's like, why do you play 2D video games? 3D video games are better. Like, that's, yeah. I don't know. It's totally fine to have that opinion, but it's not mine. That's not my opinion. I don't agree with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. What do you mean by better? It's like the people that say, why do you animate at 24 frames a second? Your cartoon would be much better at 240. Oh my God. 240 FPS with RGB. <laughs> Depends on the game. My, my favorite survival horror game... is 2D and my favorite co-op video game of all time is 2D I mean don't get me wrong a 3D barrow trauma assuming that we had net code that could transfer data of water physics for like 20 rooms on a submarine and not lag out absolutely yeah 3D barrow trauma would be terrifying I don't know, if people animated at 240, they just use that EB synth thing and... What's up? It's the slow-mo cartoon, guys! Watch our cartoon at 240,000 frames per second! Or whatever the, the music they have. They're blowing a snot rocket at... 800,000 frames per second. slow-mo scroat ripple that's <laughs> yo what's up we down here with them hood classics featuring my new boys in here let's hear it from... <laughs> young slow-mo and little scroat ripple <laughs> hey kumi how you doing i did it i finished it it's over it's done now I... And it's on to the next one. <laughs> Get scroted the loading screen for your new Unity first person shooter demo. Get scroted level loading. Was that? Get psyched. y'all are doing okay good to hear We're doing all right, just paying our bills, getting by, surviving. Doing much better than that, actually. Like we're we're, we're doing all right. Lex is doing good. He's almost four. He'll be four in a few months. 
just as spoiled as ever. I still have to figure out what the, the Fox in Space Episode 2 release party is going to be. Gumi, I hope you're not too sick. As for you, Delano, that's not fun. I actually finally got COVID. I got COVID right there toward the end of episode two, actually. On New Year's Day, no less. But, uh, I got vaccinated and took some of the boosters. I, I'm not getting the latest one. I, 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 I got, I got some of the latest, and then I actually got COVID, and it, it, it was lame. It was mild. It wasn't that big of a deal. How, however, you feel about boosters, vaccines, I don't fucking care anymore. Like take them or don't take them. I don't care. But uh, I'm good. Whenever I think of the vaccines, it takes me back to a Perry Bible Fellowship comic. <laughs> this, this comic just describes the 2020s now. <laughs> it's just what, what, like, what, what were the 2020s like, imaginary gay furry grandpa? I will tell them, it, consult the scub issue of PBF Comics. This, this this comic is literally the 2020s to me. I don't know. Post-2016, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> I mean, somebody, well, how do you feel about Scub? <laughs> I, I really don't want to talk about it. Oh, you're not a scub centrist, are you? That's the worst f of them all. <laughs> hey guys, we got scub centrist over here. He thinks that both sides have good ideas and good reasoning. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a little centrist scub over here. Let's beat on him. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> now tell us, are you pro scum or are you anti scum? <laughs> uh, this, this is bullshit. This is woke anti scum oh, bullshit perpetuated by, by the anti scum right wing. <laughs> it's a psyop. They're doing it to make us look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say weeaboo? <laughs> <Did> somebody... <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. Only been going two and a half hours. Not too bad. We've been getting some good work done. Not getting too distracted. It's always okay to get a little distracted on stream because that's part of the fun. But I still have to do my work. really want to make some characters for the violence that people fall in love with. Not like literally, you know, crushing on, but just like, oh my god, this character's so good. I'm invested. I want that. But not like Game of Thrones, where it's like, oh, this character's gonna be so great, and they just got their head pushed in. Never mind. Or the, the, the old Rogue One treatment. It's literally, Rogue One is literally nine occurrences in a row of you going, oh, this character's so great, I can't wait to see what they do with their arc when they, oh. Okay, well. Oh, these two guys, they're going to make a duo. They need their own spin-off, and they know. Oh, well. Okay, well, this next character is kind of cool. Actually, he's really cool. Oh, my God, they're doing... Oh, my God, they're like... This guy, I love this guy. I hope that he... Oh, okay. Well, can't wait for the next movie of all new characters, I guess. This guy's fucking annoying. Yeah, it it, it... it... It was a little bit. But, uh... It was a good movie. I liked that one. But yeah, like, every time a new character would come on the screen, you're like, wow, they're so well-written and their development is good. I love that last trade-off they did. And, oh, well... Okay, well, that just happened. I don't know. Rouge one. Rouge one. Is that like red dye number one makeup for your eyeshadow? What's my favorite South Park episode? Obviously, the, the cheesing one just because of the nod to heavy metal and the effort that was put into it it was it was marvelous as far as the message be like like my favorite south park episode message i don't know i don't know i'd have to think about it there's so many of them my favorite episode of american dad is the hot tub the, the Little Shop of Horrors parody about the, the talking hot tub with CeeLo as the hot tub that like just I don't know also one of the best years of my life I was hanging out with some friends at MFF and the entire theme for that con was a couple of episodes of American Dad like the songs from Boys 12 and basically everything from the Hot Tub episode. And that just, it became cemented in my mind as like feel good episodes of uh, American Dad. His kid and Roberto and everybody, Frankie and, and, and like the old crew I used to hang out with when Anytime I go to a, a furry convention or MAGFest or anything like that, if if those buddies are there, those are my homies. Like those are those are that's my my clique that I hang out with, and I miss them so much. Scott Tinnerman is is that the one where he feeds him the chili and and the and Tom York calls the kid a crybaby while while Cartman licks his tears? That was a good one. The kid had it coming. He really did. I mean, I know that that episode polarizes a lot of people in a di different directions, but... You're a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom York. 
telling him he's a crybaby. <laughs> I think that's what it was. What they, they got Tommy work to the call a crybaby. <laughs> ah, good shit, good shit. That was some good stuff. Miss the turkey TV dinners having the cranberry dessert. The apple dessert that they have, it's the same thing but apple apple flavored. It tastes like apple scented shoe leather flavoring got put in. I don't like it that much. You mix in the croutons and it's not so bad, but I don't know, the, the quality of TV dinners went down just a little bit. Just in the dessert, everything else tastes exactly the same as it always has, I will admit that. But the, the dessert, it does, it does. It's like apple flavored, like shoe leather. Like, and it's not horrible, it's still good enough that you can swallow it and kind of enjoy it. But whatever the little two two little drops of black fluid or whatever that they drip into that mixture to give it that flavoring they need to spend a couple extra dimes per gallon or whatever of flavoring and get the good stuff and honestly put it back to cranberry I, I the, the apple like come on it's a turkey stuffing dinner with corn you got to have cranberry on there. And it used to be. Some places still have it. Like, it, it's not like it's been discontinued, but our grocery store only has the apple kind. And I don't like it. Oh, that's the melody to Funky Town. Beep, 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 <laughs> Won't you take me to Funky Town? <laughs> That's some people I wouldn't mind doing some voices for the violence. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. And Dion Bachar. Baker, but... A car. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. He's Chota Boy, squeak in basketball, Chota Boy in Orgasmo. He's, he's the the mall, the mall Mr. Hanky in the the Ruined Ecosystem episode. All their steamed vegetables and couscous ruining my ecosystem. <laughs> Yeah, there, there, there's there's going to be gangs of people in my cartoon. Not like, you know, warriors or whatever, but like groups. There's going to be like the comedians. like when, and, and then there's going to be the IT characters that all work in IT. And they're basically literal drugged slaves. But it's all legal in, in that part of the city. And, and they've, they've, they've all been there complacent and drugged and working and keeping the electrical systems running for like most of their lives they started in their teens and now they're all like in their 30s and 40s and they're like what the fuck one of them finally realizes it and like guys this is happening to us and half of them don't really give a shit about it and it's 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 getting them all angry and withdrawn and and pissed off and and getting getting out of that malaise i don't know it, it's gonna be great but uh all of these communities the, the comedian characters the it characters the detective and his partner from the bureau 
and, and and everybody like they're all going to have to do with each other every they're all going to be related to each other in some way like they, they, they all have a part in why the other groups have an awakening or get exposed to something I want to make something that hits as hard as the first Matrix movie no movie uh, everything everywhere all at once was kind of close it's, it's, it's an amazing 10 out of 10 movie in my book but the first Matrix I, I think is possibly the greatest movie ever made just like like adjusting the, the curve for for like the time in which it was made the year it came out and everything yeah i i really really like the first matrix movie i really really like the first two metal gear solid games like the like i i i see that's another thing i think that metal gear solid one is the matrix one of video games uh, not not that Metal Gear 2 or Metal Gear 3 were shitty and horrible, but I do feel that way about The Matrix. I feel that The Matrix, like the Wachowskis or whoever's in charge of whatever, I believe they should have made the first Matrix movie and then maybe some TV series or, or the Animatrix and stuff. Matrix 1 and the Animatrix and two three and four just never happened it never happened there's just a matrix movie and animatrix exploring some stories in the canon universe and whatnot and then matrix two and three just didn't happen no orgasm cake no no dragon ball jesus shit just matrix one and animatrix and the soundtracks and and the video games and and lore stuff i don't know i i i, I thought the game was cool i thought the first movie was cool and all of the different stuff they got like the eon flux people the fucking cowboy bebop people the spirited away people they got all these different like like top notch top tippy top shelf animation studios to do their own like own directed renditions of of canon stories that may have happened in the matrix and they were f like a lot of them were really grim but like that was good all the way through every one of them some of them were weird some of them were more terrifying the, the runner guy getting up out of his wheelchair, the, the one mech warrior dude screaming as he's getting his arms and legs pulled off. Like, if there is something in every one of those stories that just made you go like, oh, man. It made you feel something, though. But may, I, I, I didn't see the third Matrix movie. I will never see the fourth one. Uh, and the second one I saw, like, twice... And like the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, it's the continuation of the story. But then they got to like the, you know, the, the, the tribal dance building with the climax of the sex scene and then the sex cake and more sex stuff in the bathroom. And it's like, I, I need to cuck you in front of your boyfriend or I won't tell you the secret password. And like it was that that shit was lame. There's some producer in there that had a heart on the whole time. So they're like, we got, we got to have more horny. We got to have some sea creamer scenes. We, we got to make these people horny. I mean, it needs more sex. Like, it really felt like what they did. They went for, for Matrix 1, which had none of that. None. Like, zero. Zero. And, and then they went to fucking 11 in the second movie. And then the orgasm cake... Or the late, like when I when I like first brought this up when I first started bitching about it most people in the chat would say the same thing they'd all say I don't remember that scene like wait are you are you sure you're not talking about this? I'm like I'm literally talking about the movie that I am talking about your mind suppressed that scene out of your memory because it was so cringingly bad 
It was, oh my God. I, I, I saw Butterfly Effect. I thought that was pretty good. That was the Ashton Kutcher, or, or the one with the, the famous song in the trailer, or whatever. I remember that. It was not bad. That was a pretty good movie. But holy fuck. Even with all the awesome stuff that was in the second Matrix movie, it wasn't enough to counteract all of the memories of all the weird, awkward, sexual shit that was put in. If the stuff was in the first Matrix movie, I could understand it, but like they, they, it went too far. And then the fir- third movie went like, let's do Dragon Ball Z, but with Jesus. And, and then, yeah, just no. No, I was, I was no longer invested at that point. It sounds like somebody in the chat needs a glass of water. (laughs) Sounds like several people in the chat need a glass of water. Jacob's Ladder is good. Kind of reads like a, a Stephen King short story. But, uh, very good. Terrifying. Very terrifying. I haven't seen that movie in 17, 18 years. Everyone, there's another one. Everyone keeps sending me this picture. We don't, we don't have to stop. We don't have to fucking show it. Jesus, Harold Christ. It, it's a good picture, but Jesus, everyone keeps sending it to me. I've gotten it. Thank you. It's beautiful. It makes my buttocks tingle. It's me. But no, um, just. I've seen it. I've seen it. I, like I've gotten like four of them today from from friends of mine I haven't talked to, and that's when you know you've drawn a good picture when someone's friends that they haven't talked to on Discord in five years reach out just to be like, "Hey, someone drew this today." I don't know. It's always very fucking intimidating to me when someone draws in my style and they draw my characters and they do it in my style, but a version of my style that's like, if I was better at drawing and had 10 more years of practice. We're just innocent men. Some of us. It is inspiring. It inspires me to be like, you know, dude, look at these people. They're drawing your characters way better than you draw them. You need to get better. You need to get good, bruh. Bruh, get good. (laughs) What you doing, (laughs) bruh? Not getting good. (laughs) I feel that all the time. No, no, no. Like, like I said, like it's all positive energy. I say I get fucking intimidated, not like a negative thing. It's just like you see it and you're just like, oh my god, they draw so good. Jesus Christ. I had friends back in the day when I'll be like, can you draw my? I mean, this this happens with a lot of people. You get you commission someone to draw your OC, and they look at your references, so they try to draw it in your style, Jesus and it just control, dude. it just ends up being in your style, but like a Disney animator did it so it's like 10 times better but still kind of in your style yeah you get this it's a weird feeling it's not like jealousy or anger or anything you get this warm fuzzy 
Like, like oh my god, that it looks like so good. It's it's him. It's it's my bay <laughs> or whatever. But at the same time, it's like man, they really draw that character of yours way better than you draw it. So you, at the same time, you get like this, you know, this good feeling of getting what you wanted even better than you expected it. And, and, but at the same time, you're heavily intimidated. A, in, intimidated by the, the the sheer superiority it's got it's like getting artistically domed <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah it, that is uh, I'd retract it if it weren't relevant but uh, it's <laughs> it's like oh this is your thing well, here's my spin on your thing. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> your face is turning red, you little cook. And like, that's, that's <laughs> in the best, most flattering of ways, I mean this. I never get butt hurt about people drawing better than me. I'm not that great of an artist. I'm not that great of an animator, and I'm not that good of a writer. I'm learning. I'm always a work in progress, and I always feel like I am getting better, but I don't feel like I'm at the point where I could go give a TED talk about what I do. I, don't, I, I, love, I love getting commissions and, and fan art and stuff like that. I really do. I, I don't I don't I don't care so much about people sending me like fetish art and stuff that's like a, like you want to draw a sexy picture of Wolf O'Donnell posing in his underwear or something like that that is totally fine that's totally fine I don't care I don't care what you draw draw porn I don't care if you ask me if I want you to do it I'm gonna tell you no if you ask if I mind I'm gonna say I don't care if I got on Twitter and was like, guys, I know these aren't my characters and they're just my versions of Nintendo characters, but please don't draw them sexy. Like I would get laughed off of the fucking internet. Like I'm not a dumbass. I know how the internet works. But like, yeah, like you wanna draw a sexy Wolf O'Donnell picture posing and doing whatever like it's fine like i don't care like i i i'm fine with it that's <laughs> whatever but if you're, if you're drawing like the character swelling up like violet beauregard as, as a blueberry or being tied to a wooden plank and and non-consensually tickled on their feet with a feather or or swelling up like a balloon, or or yeah, that. I just like, yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. I, it's gonna get drawn, and people are gonna illustrate it. I just, I'm not interested. Oh, look at the wrinkles on the bottoms of the soles of my feet, up close at 10x magnification. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it, and and you, you would think that I'm talking about DeviantArt, but honestly, it's just Google image search at this point. Even with safe search on, if you got all these people's like, oh, well, it's, it's not technically sexual. There's nothing being exposed other than those little toes, those corn kernels, little princess tiny feet. God, fucking Venture Brothers. <laughs> Little princess, tiny feet. <laughs> it's like, well, fe feet aren't nudity. And it's just like pictures of the characters with their big, like, wrinkly feet up in the, the, the camera, like, super, like, microscopically detailed. And YouTube's rating thing is like, well, it's not nudity. It's fine. Or just, I'm just describing like the 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 10 years of nickelodeon where that shit wasn't really out in the open 
And it's definitely something that the producers of Nickelodeon look at and they're like, oh my god. Like, looking back, this show and this and then, yep, uh, yep, uh, this guy's gone. This guy's gone. Good God. Like, I never, I didn't watch Nickelodeon. Like, like, at that point. Like, I watched Nickelodeon when I was, like, seven, eight. And when I started to get, like, nine and ten, it, I moved to, like, X-Files and married with children. And stuff like that. It's like, when I stopped watching Nickelodeon, it was, like, all that and Roundhouse and... And, like, it was, it was right around... I, I saw, like, the first season of all that. And that was, you know, like, 94, 95, something like that. I watched Cartoon Network, sure. But, yeah, like, I, I moved from Nickelodeon to, like... Samurai Jack and, and X-Files and Married with Children and stuff like that. I had a sandwich that I made whenever a new episode of regular show would come on. It was a BLT, but with turkey bacon. This is 2010. And earlier that year, I was working at a gas station. And on YouTube, there was a video called Two in the AM PM. And it was a play because it was like, you know, they're at two in the morning, but they're in a gas station called AM PM. And it was it was basically the, the regular show pilot, but it was about some dudes that were doing acid in a gas station on their work shift. I did that when I worked at Panera once. I dosed like 10 minutes before my shift was over and then they're like like two minutes later they're like Matt can you do you think you can stay for an extra 30 minutes and I was like yeah yeah sure no problem and then I'm still mopping the floor and I'm like fuck <laughs> I drove home it had it had got me like if I felt like it did it like yeah this was you have to understand this was literally 19 years ago Oh my God. And I get home and everybody's like, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I got home just in time. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, don't do this. Don't do this. This was, this was dumb past Fred. This is 2004 Fred. But no, no, like it was, it was like a five minute drive and I, I, I hadn't, I didn't start feeling anything yet, but, but, uh, yeah, wild, wild, crazy tales of my young self when I was... I think I had just turned old enough to drink. I could be wrong, though. I, I don't remember. I was either 20 or 21, because I started... I started working for my dad as a bail bondsman before I was old enough to drink. It was a few months before. God, what a time. I'll have to write a book one day. Or maybe I'll just incorporate it into my cartoon. Maybe I'll make a Bail Bonds character. I would I would be an idiot not to use my experience in that job in a cartoon that I made. Maybe I'll make a fox guy that's a, a Bail Bondsman. Holly, how are you doing? <clears throat> I am in betweening one of the Slavic lizards at the beginning. This is the very first scene of episode three. Cold open on these Slavic lizards eating bug skewers. God, look at the definition on that. You can put this out at 16K and you still wouldn't see everything just right. <clears throat> but yeah, they're uh, they're eating and doing whatever. 
I still have to finish coloring this guy. But they see the they see Wolf landing his ship back here. And cuts to them, you know, far away eating this stuff. <laughs> so <clears throat> no, no, this is this is not Leon here. This is Stanislav Powalski, and this is Pyotr Powalski. These are Leon's older brothers. These two. And then this is Nikolai, Matsyuk, and Yarik. These are just some of their friends. They're, these are all people working for Pyotr's and Stanislav's father. These two guys, their father is Janusz Powalski. He is he is like the, the Don, the, the Mafia Don guy. They're they're all they're all pretty good. Like you think they're all dumb, stupid, asshole, mean mobster guys. Like they're no, they're, they're just doing a job. They're, they're, and and the scene starts with Wolf O'Donnell landing on Fortuna with the stolen ship. And it, it cuts to them and Pyotr, this guy, starts walking over and, uh, like I said, I'm doing this as I go. I know what's gonna happen, but like I'm animating the blender file as I go. And bring it up closer. I've already got Wolf in there. And uh, the landing gear comes down, and it's gonna be—it's gonna be showing on them for a minute. But anyway, to to sum it all up, come on, <clears throat> Wolf lands. He brings the ship to Janusz Powalski, like the the father of of the two Blizzard guys. <laughs> And he confirms that his father's debt is cleared. Like his father, it's going to be exposed in this episode that Wolf's father owes some money and is going to have to sell his motorcycle club. And Wolf, with no prospects in his life, did not have to do this like his dad wasn't going to die. He's like, I, you know, I'm not gonna get my head cut off, son. I'll just sell my motorcycle club and and pay him the, the small remainder over the next 10 years or whatever. And Wolf's, Wolf wants to say that it's all because he wanted to save his dad's motorcycle club. But, he, but you know, he honestly had no prospects. He lost his eye. His one big break that he was gonna get he's mostly like he's gonna tell everybody I did it for my dad but he did it for himself if we're being honest and Yanuj is so pleased with the, the the ship that Wolf managed to steal because Yanuj does all this black market stuff he's gonna make a killing off of this ship if he sells it and he's so pleased he knows that Wolf is gonna be an outlaw and has to stay here so he puts wolf up at his estate for a month of you know training and, and living whatever but uh he's not going to be seeing Yanuj. Yanuj is like well since you know you directly got this for me you and i can no longer speak face to face you are going to do jobs for me and work for me and talk to me through my youngest son, who I think can learn a little from you. Leon, come in here, please. So in walks 19-year-old, skinny, nihilistic-looking Leon Pawalski. And, you know, Wolf's like, Hey, Zdrastvoitje, uh, uh, Minyazavut, Wolf. And he holds out his hand, and Leon's just like, Yes, I am Leon. <laughs> and he just, without shaking his hand, he just turns around and walks out of the room. 
And you know, just like, ah, oh, yes, my son, I, you, you will be working for me from now on, only through him. And and so this is this is literally the birth moment of the Star Star Wolf team. There will even be like a little faint Star Wolf theme, just Diddy playing tight very tiny and faint in the background when when Wolf and Leon walk out of the room together talking about what they're going to do for Leon's father for their their first job so to speak so like huh say what Slava are you there I think he said he'll be back later. Damn. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's this scene here is going to be the, like toward the end of this scene, like when Leon comes in, you, you realize like, wow, this is when Wolf meets Leon, the only other constant character. <clears throat> Was I able to hire people? I have two friends who are helping me with this episode with the animation you know I, I had Slava helping with the 3D stuff and other people doing voice acting but as far as the animation you know the number one thing that takes all of the time to do I have two friends helping me with it you see this this lizard guy here this guy like all of his animation and Stanislav's animation here this guy animated by someone who is not me at all all of these frames it looks like I animated it I could just tell you guys that I animated this guy and and you you wouldn't know <laughs> You would still believe me. You still. What? How does it go? You still don't believe me. <laughs> the demonstration is over. Bing, bing. Snake, you have to change controller ports. This is so dumb. This is cringe, Colonel. Dinner. <laughs> That's a good one. God. Go sleep. The bio horror. I'm thinking about since, since I'm only going to have three episodes, this episode is going to be the last one. Um, I'm thinking about having Panther show up. I don't know. He's not in the Star Wolf team at this point. At this point, it's still Andrew and Pigma. Although I think possibly at this moment, maybe Andrew and Pigma have both decided like, yeah, we got our asses kicked and we're going to go. Andrew becomes an arms dealer. Pigma goes off and does whatever he does. He becomes a scoundrel. <laughs> a scoundrel. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Panther shows up. And, uh, Crystal's going to show up. I'm going to have a lot of new characters in this episode. Like, uh, yeah, like right here, I was showing earlier. This is basically the, basically the designs. This is how the characters are going to look in episode three. Crystal's design, I'm still going to work on a little bit. Like her cheek tufts, she might, you know, have them a, a certain way differently. I don't know. But that's roughly how they're going to look. And you know, this is, <clears throat> if you can't tell, it, 
if you can't tell who this is this is James McLeod this is Fox's dad when he's like 21 this is about nine eight or nine years before episode two this is Fox's mom this is James and Vixie about a year or so after they've had Fox in this picture Fox McCloud is about like he's a baby he's like one or two years old at this point but this is when they hold the 83rd annual Space Dynamics Biological Science Exposition or whatever and these are like the, the wonder teens they they have the highest scores on Corneria. they're both like geniuses super smart and into like black hole like time and space studies and stuff like things i know nothing about like just you know bear with me i i might call on a, a theoretical particle physicist as a consultant i have a couple of friends who do that stuff but anyway like i said for the sake of the story you know they, they start studying and then doing experiments with with like wormhole black hole stuff and it attracts this young man's attention this guy is about 41 42 years old dr andros and this is a picture taken when he's he's taking on mentorship of these two and they start doing legitimate experiments for the cornerian government on you know certain stuff and then they have a <clears throat> a different experiment they're doing on the side on titania there's a certain times of the year yeah Andros is 61 in episode one. He's 50 or 51 in episode two. Episode two is almost literally exactly 10 years before. Episode two, uh, when at the beginning of episode two, when they drop Andros off and he's wearing his glasses, he's like 49. That's like seven years after this. And then and he's 50, 51 while he's building up his rep on Venom. And yeah, like two years after he gets dropped off, he's 51. So in episode two, he's 51. In episode one, he's 61. And here he's about 41 or 42. I think he's 42 here. I, ha I have all this written down. I have a timeline. Uh, James McCloud. If you want to know James McCloud's timeline... He enters military officer school at 16. He marries Vixie and they have Fox when he's 18. When he's 19, he's flying asteroid cutters and fighter craft in a squadron under maybe Lieutenant Colonel Pepper before he becomes a general. Pepper becomes a general. James gets promoted to captain when he's 20. He's one of the youngest captains ever. I think the youngest captain in the United States was 18 or 19, so 20 is reasonable. When James is 21, he goes to the Science Expo with Vixie and they meet Andros, and months later, the McClouds are invited to a secret project with him. <clears throat> like, like while well, they're already working together on other stuff, but he's like, well, while we're doing this, I have this other thing going that I think you two will be interested in. If, if you want to, you know, work on it. And he does, like, like Andros is branching out. He's more of a biological, science, medical kind of guy. So he doesn't know as much about, like, the, the, the black hole physics and stuff like that. Uh... Oh, man, has he really been talking about the cartoon? Oh, bless his heart. I hope he'd want to come back to do some stuff again. I'm always afraid to ask because I know famous people are always super vi busy. But, uh... But, yeah, like, like I I'm still working on everything. 
every day. Like I didn't, I, I was like, I want to take a vacation. I want to fly to Batumi, Georgia, and and just chill. And it's like, no, I just got started on the next scene immediately. You know. <laughs> <Don't do it. laughs> now the, the the fresh new 73b hold on a minute here we go <laughs> i said something we were doing a live watching of of episode two now if you don't want to vlc main i'm sorry i'm gonna it was just a long time ago i made a mistake Pepper made it go away. And that's why you oh, know, is it? I, yeah. Binyat, yeah. don't doing! <laughs> oh, I'm My eye out? <laughs> yeah, right, right here. Oh, I wish you would. <laughs> oh, I wish you would. Oh, God. Sonny, I, I can't <laughs> feel my face. Oh. Is that a... <laughs> A slingshot? <laughs> what? You're gonna put no. my eye out? Binyat. With a rubber ball? Binyat! Don't doing! <laughs> yeah, I remember. Oh. I, had, I had a little bit to drink. And I just oh, yelled out at the top of my it's lungs. Binyat! Don't oh. doing! <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna. You're going to leave. Yeah, yeah. Dude, get up. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Easy guy. He Where keeps egging you? James on. <laughs> Just imagine Tommy Wiseau being like, Binyat, stop. Don't doing. <laughs> He's going to shoot you in the eye. <laughs> Y'all right, Jim? Yeah, I'm fine. My best friend, Pigma Dangar, betrayed me. I am fed up with this world. Did they really come here on a scooter? Binyat, don't well, do it. Without any further attempted corporate espionage, we gotta get you two in the air. I apologize. Простите меня. Я просто шучу. But the R wings got a lot more speed and firepower. Better cruise, stealth, not to mention my G diffuser. And in the extremely unlikely case that you'll encounter a threat before landing, I've upgraded the hard points with gimbal cannons. Gimbal what? Gimbals, Peppy. They let you freely aim your shots, even if you're not flying in the same direction you want to shoot. Uh, I don't think I want that. Can I turn that off? Toggle switch behind the triggers if you just want them fixed. My man. You guys My are man. cruising at about 0.5. That's four hours non-stop to Venom this time of year, so I hope you don't mind being cramped up in there for that long. I'll be all right. We'll be fine, Bell. Okay, stand by. This encrypted channel does not exist. We are not using it. Do you both understand? Yes, I understand. Great. Because I'm going to play a message that wasn't left with someone's secretary this morning. Pepper. It's Koba. I found him. What you want? I've got him right here. I'm going to take the tack line all night tomorrow night. Tripmaster is the only railway left with no surveillance. That's the Venoma City Loop at 111 Local. You want? Do you want me to play it again? No. Okay, guys. Charge your crews. Charging. Charging. You're both reinstated at your former CAF ranks, visiting the Cornerian Embassy in Venoma City, hence the paperwork and uniforms. Whatever Koba's <laughs> got for Pepper, you take it. Ride the train until it loops around again, get back to your R wings, and fly home. My cruise is charged. All right, Bell. We're ready. Okay. I'm closing the channel now. Good luck. Mrs. 
message from your scouts, sir. They're on their way. Cruising, sir. I suppose this was inevitable. Is Mrs. Reese enjoying the new Krista? Absolutely, sir. Yes, the KWX is the most spacious. You'll let me know if it's not enough. We are forever grateful, sir. Well, you keep your nose clean. Do your job. And this will only be the beginning of good things. Hey, it's Sonny. Make it quick. Yeah, so, uh... Something happened. Oh, did it then? You said no security. You never said anything about a one-armed ninja with a slingshot. Sagan almost got his head cracked open. James McLeod. Yeah, no shit. The Star Fox guy. Was he alone? Hey! As a bag of nudes that stole my scooter. Hey, you watch your mouth. That's quite an accusation. I mean, have you got any proof? No, but I know he's... Can't do nothing about it if there ain't no proof. But that's the friggin' guy, though! Falco, honey, you don't want your father getting in trouble again. But, Ma, I swear to God! Wow! Sorry! You better watch it. I said I was sorry. Are you really just gonna let him... Shut up and eat your fucking fajou! Yes, sir. Language, Carlo. So they're already leaving, then. That's all right. I have another card in play. Hey, uh, so, uh, were we still getting paid? For what, exactly? You smug sucker! I swear to... <laughs> so, uh, are we still getting paid? Yeah, we still getting paid! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Play girls at school. Ew! <laughs> okay, for real. Where are we going? We are honestly. I think it's the first time I've watched this on on actual what? stream since well, it came out. Same hanger, but I was technically telling the truth. Bill's gonna be on base this week. I just wanted to stop by and say hello. <laughs> oh, right. And you need me to get through this. Hey, 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 now I promise it'll be worth it. I've got a surprise. Oh, hey, Sarah, guess what? Oh, here it comes. What? I got in the CFA. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, I got a 99% on the entry, too. Do you know what you're gonna do? Um, do a lot of stuff on computers. Uh, yeah, just stuff like that. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be a test pilot. Oh, they said that's a real dangerous job. I'll be fine. Yeah, not really the smartest choice. Well, I think you'll be perfect for it. <laughs> you trying to cut in on my girl, little man? No. <laughs> you must like them older women, huh? <laughs> No. The ones that got that rugged age. I'll be right back. Gotta get water. Weathered by years of experience beyond your own. You're being mean. Those tired breaths. <laughs> Stop. I'm just cutting up with him. Ain't that right, kiddo? You know I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I'm not rugged. I'm just gonna park in a lot and run over to his hangar for a few minutes. You don't even have to get out of the car. I don't want to get in trouble, dude. Come on, if anyone's getting in trouble, it's gonna be me. 
Just keep watching the sky. I'll be back before you know it. We're gonna lose our weekend pass if we don't find this thing. We'll find it, though. It's in the back. It wasn't on the 2505, either. Staff sergeant said it wouldn't be on the 2505. We gotta write it in after we... All right, yeah, this is it. We got Did it. Did you really find it? Yeah. Ugh, good. I can't take any more stress tonight. Now, I gotta work on my timing. Hey, I gotta what's work up? On my hey, timing. Mm -hmm. Healthy, what a dork. Gone forever. I gotta work on my timing. Oh, I can't imagine how you must feel after. Yeah, uh, I'll survive. Is Bill around? And he doth appear. <laughs> and he doth appear. Oh. Quit being a what dork. What the hell are you doing? Hey, now, nobody said I couldn't come <laughs> visit. You better give her a head a shake there, bud. You've been told pretty near a hundred times since you got discharged. I'm sorry. I thought I heard you say something vaguely decipherable, but I'm not sure. It says right there on the wall, only qualified pilots allowed in the practice. <laughs> qualified? Oh, let's hear it, Bill. What do these otherwise lovely ladies bring to the table that I don't? How about depth perception? Boat. I well, like that curd chew and snaggled Gotta right give credit where it's due. Well, fill your boots, you one eyed knob. Is my breath bad? Ding dongs. Assorted. Wolfgang Shaman. Willie Lyle. Fair is out in the car. I just wanted to show off one more time. Oh, sure. What you playing? Oh, it's just a game where you fly a ship and shoot at stuff. You ever think about flying one for real? Oh, no way. My dad doesn't want me going anywhere near one of those things. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? He is coming back, right? He's really not supposed to fly out that far. He's coming back, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely listening to Patricia the Stripper. Super Nintendo one. But 
It's G I N, like the drink. Gin the drink, the letter U, and then wine the drink. It's easier to remember and that way. How long are you staying in Venoma City? Not long. Five or six hours. Okay. I'm gonna need you to stand yes. over there, and I'll be right with you. All right. You can yes. Your arms down, sir. I'm just gonna ask you one. So uh, the friend of mine who voices Rob 64 is a, a big it's just a little component of Elite Dangerous. A big reason why the game Elite Dangerous is actually really cool. I can show you if you like. And respect, uh, Captain. There's a lot of I was playing Elite Dangerous a lot when I was making episode one. So there's a lot of like 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 I'll do a wake scan. They'll scan his wake to see this, that, and hard points and docking. Like I mean, Fox's underwear in the first episode, the him says docking request granted. You're still hung up on that flower. I didn't say that. I never said that. I love this part, Zio and Laugh. And it's written all over your face. Does it matter what I use? So perfect. I want to bring these characters back. The least you can do is grow some flowers. I'm not a florist, Kajekis. I'm a smoker. Okay? I smoke. That's no way to treat a gift from my mother. Hey, uh, any chance we can get this line moving? Sir, please? Stay in line. We'll be right with you. We appreciate your patience. <laughs> but yeah, where it says docking request granted on Fox's underwear, it's it's not a gay thing. It is a reference to Elite Dangerous. I know some people can get a little perverted about it or whatever about that scene. Like, oh, he wants them to be gay. It was like, no, like, like of course. Uh -oh. His little cheeky I humor. He looks at his legs, and hey, and right. and the guy it's comes in. An he pulls his pants down instead of lifting his pants legs up. Probably because he does that usually, and everyone's like, "No, let me see your whole legs. That's, that's just your calves, dude. Show me your like. Those could be fake." And so after like that happening four times. Whenever someone asks, he's just like, all right, and he just pulls his pants down the whole way. So you hear this he's got underwear on, and no one can see anything. I made sure not to accentuate any bulges or or outlines. Like, it's not that kind of cartoon. I'm not, tr I'm not trying to make a perverted cartoon. I don't want sex stuff in my cartoon. Sure, a character honked a boob. I would say an innocent, playful thing between boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, they're not gonna... I don't know. It's not a porn. <laughs> I don't want to do stuff like that. Not that there's anything... Thank you, Jerry. But, yeah, like, I, I don't care, but it's, it's, it's not my bag. I tried it. I tried making a cartoon where we're, you know someone running from bounty hunters and they're jerking off in a tree and, and, and there's shooting and, and it's just like I, I can't like if, if I put anything sexual in my cartoon it's got to be funny or incidental or whatever but I, I can't do sexy stuff and what qualifies only you to make all this happen in one term <laughs> it's simple really only I have the brains to rule I let Oh, based with that Andros just red pills all of Venom just in one speech and everybody at home going based. <laughs> Imagine the one monkey guy sitting there eating his banana chips, just being like, ah, oh, based. I'm gonna vote for that one. <laughs> Back where we got He's <laughs> but, but yeah, like I've talked about this before, like in Game of Thrones and all that. Like, I, I'm all right with a scene if it pushes the story forward, but just putting a sex scene in something for the sake of, like, it—that's not. Nah, it breaks my immersion. I mean, 
Move the camera and blow wind through the curtains. Cut to them when they're done. Like laying in bed, sweating next to each other, going, wow, that was, I, 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 whoa, I needed that. You know, or something like that. Like, like just having the whole scene with her cheeks clapping and the saxophone music and the the building crescendo of the music when the character climaxes. It was like, it, it, come on, come on. Like, I mean, I get it. I get it if you're doing something like heavy metal or a porno or something like that. It was just like, eh, I don't know. A character running out of somewhere naked or whatever, that's different. Like, I, I don't fucking care about that. Did Big Madangar come through here? Having the the camera on a on a on a track like just rotating around the center of the bed in the slow love making scene I'm like no come on didn't think what have you got for me I didn't think Pepper would send you <laughs> you can guess where it goes from here. Oh, he fixes the cable. <laughs> How did you find these? You don't have any friends, Jim. Don't think too hard about it. If you knew what Andros was up to, what he was really up to, you would have given those to Pepper years ago. Instead of hiding I them. I destroy them. Right now. You won't. It was her work. Just as much as yours. <laughs> Geniuses. I dropped out and... Accretions won. Jim. Don't let it go to waste. Pepper's no better for tech like this. Maybe a little. You can say wolf. It, I, I don't care. Get you off the Half the people in here do that. Hey, Wolf, or, or hey, Captain. Right. Depending on Go which avatar I'm using. I don't care. You Go ain't gonna offend me. This is... such an ugly planet. And dangerous. I never learned to care for it. Go get some sleep. Des. Des. Captain. Your friend looks tired. We were informed that you carry a sort of improvised shooting instrument. Please place it on the table and calmly step away. I might need some help with that. Your compliance, Captain. I do not want a fuss. I don't want to kill you, Eckblade. You know I'm walking off this train. Partner seems to think that I, I know what he said. Final warning. Get right this. Jim. Well, that's all speculation. I'm not going to confirm anything until episode three comes out.
Premier Andros will speak with you. Now. I suppose he will. James rolled a one. <laughs> nah. He rolled a one, he would have broken his wrist. I had a feeling you did something with the discs that they weren't destroyed. It hurts knowing now for sure. Losing her in the accident put both of us under Pepper's thumb for quite a time, but you could have reached out. You could have trusted me. You don't have to answer. That's fine. Cabinet officials appointed me less than four hours ago. I'm the new Venomian Premier. Your partner, Hare, has already been escorted to his ship. The Separatists on the train, Koba, already wiped away clean. Everything was. I have access to all the resources I will ever need. I will make sure Venom becomes everything Corneria wishes to be. And eventually, one unified Lilatian government. But you and I both know none of that matters if we don't resume our project. You don't know that. You saw what was on the other side of the hole. And they know we're here. You're a scientist at heart, James. Like me. Not a mercenary. So much time has already been wasted. Even with these discs, I can't resume the work without your knowledge, your help. I need you. James. Please. I'm sorry, Doctor. This doesn't appeal to me. No matter. You'll be here soon enough. If you won't change your mind, I'll just have to change it for you. Believe me, James. I will. I would say that Andros is probably a doctor of several things. But yeah. This is the fixed version where I fix the credits. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait for a month when when episode. See, I, I, and on the version I put out now, we'll have cactus because I messed up my voice credits. I forgot a voice credit for me, and I forgot a voice credit for cactus. She's still credited, but she's only credited as Faye. She needs to be credited as well for uh, the news anchor Darla. She voiced both of them. Like I said, the version that's going to be downloadable, I'm going to have a home version that's downloadable from Odyssey or whatever. That's going to have all the errors fixed in the credits. <clears throat> I'm going to fix a, a one or two little things. There's a spot where a character is 
is on the left of the screen and their voice is coming from the right side of the screen. Little things like that. There's like one or two of those. And most importantly, all of the Patreon people. Uh, I messed up on the YouTube one. I put all the ones that are missing, I put them in the YouTube description. They're specifically thanked there. But the version that people are going to be able to download, do not download the one from YouTube. The color banding, the compression, it sucks, it's bad. In two weeks, roughly, I am going to release a, a, the definitive home downloadable version, like for, for your folder that you keep all your DivX and web rips and whatnot in, of all your, your, your movie copies whatnot he, uh, yeah you, you, you get what I mean uh, it for, for for your folder of whatever uh, I'm <laughs> it's the most piratey sounding music I could find but anyway uh, when <clears throat> when you if, if you were abandoned on a tropical island, and you wanted one copy of A Fox in Space, Episode 2, this would be the file. Like, like it, when I die and they break into my gun safe and see what's inside of my safe, my copy of A Fox in Space, Episode 2, inside of that safe is going to be this file that you're going to download. Like my HD, like it's going to be like three or four gigabytes for a 40 minute thing. It's going to be like four gigs. It's going to be the highest, rawest with with film grain quality that, that you can watch it in. But but uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let the YouTube copy do its thing for a bit. And then I'm going to release that and put it in the description as like a Google Drive. Or an Odyssey link. Nobody's found this yet, and I don't want it to go on forever. But uh, let me. This is what I wanted to. Any people that played the Super Nintendo game? This is the mix, right? Yeah. You know this track. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the music from the last scene where James is captured and taken away. <laughs> I'll go ahead. So when you when you select this and and yeah, it's the whole the whole song. But when you select it and speed up the tempo by three thousand percent. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, I don't know. I, th I, th I thought it'd be a neat little thing to take, like the the you died game over music or whatever, and Paul stretch it into like the creepy last song of the episode. <laughs> and it's just that like super slowed down <laughs> if you, yeah if you've ever heard of Paul stretching it's, it's the same thing where it takes like cross faded little tiny segments and stretches them out I just 
I, I got the Super Nintendo Star Fox soundtrack, and there's one of the tracks where, like, it's the, the sound when you die, when your, your ship crashes. And I stretched it out and added a bunch of, uh, like, other effects to it and whatnot, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just four notes stretched out to like four minutes. I don't know, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I love Cryo Chamber. I, I leave that channel on just on in the background while I work. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, let me get back to what I'm doing. <laughs> Ten things you didn't notice about a fox in space. <clears throat> weird AI voice that sounds almost like Wolf O'Donnell, but not quite. <laughs> there's more, there, there, there's, there's other sneaky little things that I enjoyed doing in, uh, in an episode two, but I, I don't want to give any more of them away. It was fun. Don't know someone's going to be like, top 10 things that you didn't notice. In a Fox and Space episode 2, number 3 will blow your mind. Get ready. Brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Do you need money? Are you broke? Do bitches look at you like some kind of joke? Just get your PhD. Player haters degree. <laughs> yeah, I might be ugly. At least I ain't got no money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the ever shooting star. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, my is that I is that still on the internet or did they take that off for being too offensive? Is it is this the what I'm Do your homies have money? Are you broke? Yeah. Do bitches look at you like some kind of joke? Straight up. There's nothing you can do except get your PhD. Play a haters degree? That's right. Oh, hell yeah. Player Haters Academy, located on Well Farm in Detroit, well, offers the finest in player Haitian tactics. Yeah, that's right. Such as the bitch hater. Hey, man, fuck that fine ass bitch. Or the look sugar. Yo, bitch, I might be ugly, at least I ain't got no money. Or the never-ending shooting star. Just cause he got a car, he wanna be driving that bitch. Get your PhD and join a nation of player Haitian. Word up. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god.
Make a replica of James Jack. I have a replica of it. I literally have a real life jacket. Uh, exactly what his is with the, the 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 picture on the back and everything. I go take a picture of it. Let me go take a picture. I don't think I have any pictures of it. I have a picture of me wearing it somewhere, but you can't see it very well. One second. I'm curious. One second.
we're here, we're here, we survive. Or I'm here at the very least. Oh, I got a picture. I got a picture. A couple pictures. The flash kind of sucks on them, but. like five years ago six years ago it's it's literally the jacket I made the jacket before I used it in his cartoon <laughs> yes. this is a jacket I bought in 2015 and the the, the back parts of it like up here, you can kind of see where it's flaking off, but I'm gonna get that repaired if I can. If not, I can just make another one. My mother made the embroidery patches. Oh, sneak. Yeah. Excuse me. My mother made the embroidery patches. I drew the original design, I designed it. Boogs, Kim, the, the, the voice actress for Farrah Phoenix in my cartoon, <laughs> repainted it and, like, did the design, and then I took her redesign, blew it up really big for my sister, and my sister painted over it, or, like, free-handed it onto the jacket here. So this thing is made by, like, a whole bunch of different people in my family and friends so i thought that was kind of cool it's got that energy but uh i want to try to get it like i said there's a, there's a couple spots where it's flaking off because like i've had the jacket for like six or seven years eight almost eight years now but like i said i i can i can get another made or just get this one repaired it's just it's old it's even got a bullet hole in the back of it you can't tell but Anyhow, yeah, it, it, it does exist. It, it's, it's like an actual jacket. I wore it to MAGFest when I premiered episode one. That was a good time. Anyhow. Nobody was shot. It was just uh, using my jacket as, a, as a, a, a rest for the barrel of a gun when we were shooting it and pulled the barrel back a little too far and uh, shot through the jacket or the, the blast punched a hole through it. No, no one at any point was without safety. It was just, I rolled up my jacket to put under a rifle we were shooting with. And and while someone was, was shooting the rifle properly, uh, the barrel of the gun was a little too close to the jacket and it blew a hole through the, the back of it. I got it sealed up, but I didn't get it completely fixed. I was like, eh, gives a character, whatever. But I do want to get the, the shoulders, the shoulder areas fixed a little. Ah. 
That's so cool that they fixed my bug reports. I don't know if you're just joining us, but all the bug reports I had that I put in, like the, the last two ones that I put in on stream, they've both already been fixed. Now I have to take my ass over there and download the newer versions of the same one I'm Excellent. using. <laughs> that jacket does have a lot of story to it before I even started painting stuff on it. Because I didn't just go out and buy a jacket and then do that to it. I had been wearing that jacket for like four years. Three years somewhere around there. I don't want to exaggerate. I don't care. Go for it. Do it. Do whatever you want. Do you imagine me being like, no, you're not allowed to cosplay as my characters. Please don't make your costumes in any similarity. Similarity. Any similarity. <laughs> any similarity with my fan created versions of the baby baby law suite do not altar no i don't care go wild do whatever you want somebody asked if they could sample my music in one of their live sets i was like do it do it i don't fucking care knock yourself out tell me how it goes not like literally you, you know what i mean god damn it God damn it, Shane. <laughs> I love Shane Gillis' dad, old Phil. Like, holy fuck. He's a rarity, but when he shows, he's got that good energy. That, like, that's... God. I want to represent Philly dads so bad in, in my cartoons, but I just don't know how. I can represent my own, like, the... The southern dads I didn't really have a dad growing up but I've been around everyone else's like even if you don't have a dad or a mom of your own you can look at someone else's mom and remember things about them they're like dude that's such a mom thing to do moms totally always do that Kashmani <laughs> Oh, we got a Matt and Shane Secret Podcast fan in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got money? <laughs> no, when Wolf's dad's in there and he's like, you got money. It's like, everybody's dad does that. Like, what? And they ask you if you need money, and then you're like, yeah, but then instantly they remember, like, they gave you some. Cash money. Hey, is your, you, 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 you knew here. Uh, I just wanted to show you that, you, you know how Matt and Shane do the ads for the Zen pouches, the tobacco? <laughs> The scene in my cartoon, if you look really close, Peppy smokes. Peppy is a smoker, but he's not allowed to smoke inside of the R wings. So I hope you don't mind being cramped up it's still loading the shaders. You'll have to forgive me. Okay, stand by. God, what lag. There we go. Yeah. Peppy, <laughs> you see Peppy, Peppy put in the Zen pouch. But obviously, I couldn't put Zen, but I wanted to give a nod. So, what what Peppy is using here is is <laughs> dogs brand nicotine pouches. It's just literally Matt McCusker and Shane Gillis dog character. <laughs> There's gonna be like two people in the entire world that that watch my cartoon and get this nod. <laughs> but hopefully you're one of them. I, I wanted to I wanted to get that out there. At least show it to somebody. <laughs> Let me put it up in his, 
Up in the gums. <laughs> oh wait, like I had like the large size thing here. Hold on a minute. Where is it? Yeah, I think you just scoot up. There it is. <laughs> it's the dogs, dude. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's, other than the Adam Freeland show, like, Matt and Shane's secret podcast, I think that is my favorite podcast of all time, like, I, I could only hope that I would be honored to, enough to be considered one of their dogs one day. I want, I want Matt and Shane to voice two characters in the violence, I really do. I've got the ones in mind, but uh, but yeah, seriously, uh, that's, that's <laughs> such a random, random, unexpected nod. I know, but but like, holy shit! <laughs> Doctor recommended tobacco pouch usage for R wing pilots. What is James wearing under the leather jacket? It's a different shirt. Now there's a different one. There's a different shirt that he wears when he ch when they change into their Vino or uh, Cornarian uh, military uniforms. That's different. When they show up and he's got the slingshot and, and and they're rescuing Beltino, they're just wearing plain clothes at that point. That jacket that James is wearing, it's from his father. It's his father's bomber jacket. Like, don't think too hard into the Nintendo being on the back of it. Like, it's just... <clears throat> just don't worry about the Nintendo. Like, uh, the, the painting could have come sooner. No, the... J James James's father gave him that bomber jacket and James modified the jacket but it, but the jacket just the raw jacket itself without all the, the Star Fox stuff on it like he added that stuff obviously he added like his grandfather didn't have a company called Star Fox he added them to it this is Lucky Jacket. Even though it, it has a motto on it that says, you know, leave luck to heaven. <laughs> All right, I think this dude's animation's finally fucking done. Christ. See how it looks. There's the feet that I'd be worried about, but no, like he step, step. That's good. That turned out way better than I thought it would be. There's a little pop on his tail right here, though. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, like like I said, don't 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 think too hard about it. I was just making a joke, kind of. The production cycle for each episode. Well, the first episode was made when I was living in poverty and using a laptop. The second episode Half of it was made in four years using Adobe products. And then most of a year was spent learning Blender. And then the other 20 minutes of it was made in two years with Blender. 
and now the third episode everything's going to be made with blender this whole process even from episode one i've been learning new software and getting things going faster things only go faster now and not only am i using blender for everything now i gotta turn the light back on how did the light go off not only am i using everything for blender with blender now but i also have friends that are helping me with it so i'm going to have other people helping with the animation and yeah adobe is no longer involved at all The fuck? I think I'm just blind. It looked like there wasn't a material on there when I was looking at that last. Well, most of the video editing you can still do. But if you want to get rid of Vegas and you don't mind learning node structures like you like in Blender anyway, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve. It's not perfect, but Vegas is horrible now. I'm sorry, but Vegas, they literally just sold it to another company who's just sitting on the rights of the program and not actually restructuring its code or doing anything new with it it's lit it's got the same it, they're doing the same thing that the adobe people are like it's the same fucking program it's been for 20 years there's some bugs and crashes in it that have been happening for 20 years that they're not looking to fix shit if you've been learning japanese steady for seven months that's pretty good I need to get back on Russian stuff I still speak Russian every day the, the little bit that I know I keep it fresh in my mind and I remember the words that I've learned but but I need to expand a little bit I will eventually I just got to catch up on work I've been learning Russian for over three years, just on the side, just as like a, a hobby thing. Uh, mainly because I just wanted to when I was a kid. I've always been fascinated with learning Russian. And of course, current political temperatures aside, like I'm still just as interested. I have a lot of friends over there. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know Swedish. I know English, I know a little bit of Spanish, and I know a lot more Russian than I know Spanish. I can read Spanish, even if I don't know the words, and I can do the same in Russian for the most part. But I still have a long, long way to go. I started to learn Norwegian once, but a couple of my friends convinced me not to bother because they're like dude don't worry like 90 percent of the people over here already know english like you're not going to be having secret conversations with anyone <laughs> i was like well dang is it cool? they're they're all cool languages i want to learn some more you know lear after learning the structure in russian i feel like i could learn any language i know fusionese is a little difficult but I'm honestly more, I'm more interested in learning like Hindi or Korean or a couple other things. I'm always interested in that stuff. My 
colors aren't updating. Why does that not show up? You see it? It's just... The picture doesn't update. See, that's there, but... Why is this icon not, uh, not updating? Now it is. I did. You see that? I, I turn this off and turn it back on, and now, now it shows the color there. That's frustrating. What else is it not doing that on? This color, maybe? See? This color doesn't have an icon. See, it has no icon there. But then I bet when I do this, eh, eh, now it does, right? Yep, there it is. It just popped up right when I looked at it. There's a new bug. Every time I update in this program, there's always a new bug that pops up. It's frustrating me, Gary. It's not game breaking. I can still work with it. I mean, I literally just found the workaround, like how to deal with that if it happens. But what causes it? When I when I close the program, is it going to just open up next time and do it again? That's the real question. The main reason I only want to do three episodes is because I don't want to spend the rest of my life working on a cartoon about someone else's characters. Be like Peter Jackson spending the rest of his life making Lord of the Rings movies. Like, he, he, made, he made a couple Lord of the Rings movies, and they were great, and people liked them. He made three of them, and then... He went on and to do other stuff, and he did other stuff before. And it's like with me, I want to make those three things because I love Star Fox so much, but I want to make my own stuff. I want to tell my own stories, and I'm going to use those three animations that I make to hone my skills so when I move over from Star Fox, people will still be interested because they want to hear other stories I have to tell, even if they're not about someone else's characters. Even if they're not as good, like with, like with Peter Jackson, even if, you know, even if I make a movie that's not as good as my Lord of the Rings trilogy that I make, like, I don't care. I've got stories I want to tell. If you like my versions of the characters because of who they are and not just superficially because it's Wolf O'Donnell, you know, it's it's like, oh, it's, it's his version of Wolf O'Donnell, but even if his name was Frank Arson, he, like, I, and, and he was in a different universe, I still want to watch episodes about this guy. You're still going to get that. There's going to be a Wolf O'Donnell character in the violence, but his name is going to be different. He's not a pilot. He's going to be a, a, a detective. His hair will look different. But at his core, 
his voice, his personality, his character, flavor is going to be my version of Wolf O'Donnell. And just like the high functioning bureau agent that is his unofficial partner is is pretty much going to be my version of Fox McCloud, but he's going to be he's going to be on the spectrum and he wears glasses and he's going to be kind of like a, a uh, Dale Cooper type fox guy that works with this grizzled wolf detective and kind of gets on his nerves because he's so quirky but uh, the, like if you watch it if you like my Fox McCloud and you like my Wolf O'Donnell versions of the characters you're going to switch over to the violence and be like oh these are these are the same actors that were portraying Fox and Wolf, but now they're portraying slightly different characters. Think of it like my unofficial comedy troupe. The guy, the actor who played Fox McCloud in A Fox in Space is now going to be playing a different Fox guy in The Violence. That's literally how I see it. Even back in 2013 when I was doing Zorastrella, I was doing it as... Like, okay, the guy who played Falco in A Fox in Space, he's going to be airbrushing his feathers and playing a flamingo guy in Zorastrella. Like, that's that's kind of going to be it with this. So, like, like Wolf, like how you see, even how you see him here in the Avatar, imagine this character, but, like, his, he doesn't have the mohawk, he's got two eyes... He wears a long coat and he's a he's a he's ten years older and uh, a detective. But it's it's basically the same character. That's that's going to be Frank from from the violence. You see him. You, you'll still be able to to draw fan art. <laughs> it's like it, it'll be relatable enough. And then I may may make another cartoon with the same. The actor characters as different characters. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there's a couple of errors. I'm not perfect. But I'm not going to Steven Spielberg it. Hey, Greg. It's like, you know, I could, I could change the characters. I could do a Rick and Morty, which is just, you know, Doc and Marty from Back to the Future and, and make it a, a different thing. But it's just, I want a completely new story. I've been writing this other story for like six or seven years now. Even if they didn't have those things to bounce off of, they would have picked another thing to bounce off of. If Team 4 started and have the Dragon Ball Z dubs that they did, they probably still would have gone on to do a dub of a different anime. I believe that the people who have that level of talent, even if it's like, oh, well, what if you didn't have this? What if I didn't have Star Fox? 
I'd probably have just picked a different cartoon. Mega Man 2, Super Metroid, Five Nights at Freddy's, or so I would have picked something else that was my favorite thing if Star Fox wasn't my favorite thing. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't have been like, oh, no Star Fox. I'm not ever going to be anything then. Uh... You know, but... Uh... You never know. I like to think that they would have found some other thing to do. If I didn't get into piano, I would have gotten into accordion. Or if I didn't get into accordion, then I would have gotten into some other musical instrument that tickled my fancy. What did Martin Scorsese do? He did uh, Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is a great movie. I don't know. Like when, when I go to set up a scene in a movie. I, I don't like sit here and go like, oh, well, what would John Carpenter do in this shot? Let me go back and watch a John Carpenter movie. Like, I, I know some basic filmography rules and cinematography stuff for color grading and whatnot, but I, 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 I really just go with adjusting a shot of a character, finding out where they're going to be in the shot, and just going until it gives me a tingle in my brain like oh that that's it dude that's the shot that's that's absolutely what what you need to have there like oh that's it or whatever i don't know there's yeah there's movies i like i like i love john carpenter's stuff but i don't like study what camera angles he uses and all that i like because he does his own music and stuff yeah i want I want a fox in space to look like the cartoons I like the way that my brain remembers them. Even if, like, the way my brain remembers it is a little more blue, a little more gritty, lower quality audio. But, you know, not doing it too much. I don't want to go as hard as I did in the first episode. But every cartoon that I do, I want it to have that kind of compressed audio to it. And I really like that. Uh, like like what like the stuff that I watch if you're talking about like a catalyst like stuff that I watch to to relax and get to work yeah just same shit that, that I like just John Carpenter movies Stanley Kubrick score what else does Scorsese do like I know they did like The Departed and I saw the Irishman and all that. Uh, I like the I like Taxi Driver. That was a good one. I saw Casino once or twice. I remember when Casino was on pay per view. Remember the album uh, Roots with Roots, Bloody Roots on it? God, that takes me back.
is because it's got Ryan Gosling starring. I wouldn't mind getting Ryan Gosling to do a character in the violence. One of these days, I'll reach out to one of these agents and be like, hey, so, uh, I'd like your, your guy to be in my cartoon. Can we do that? I think that would be pretty neat. Got a couple people in mind. What in the fucking world? You see some of the weirdest fucking anomalies on this thing sometimes. What on fucking earth. gonna delete the whole thing it's gonna delete it and we're not gonna ever talk about that ever again that was very strange I've never seen something like that happen before
You know the game I miss? I think that was the first MMO I ever played, other than like in 2000. The uh, <clears throat> technically, I played Red Moon and Ra I played Ragnarok online like a year or two before it released. Like Ragnarok online came out in 2003. My buddy Lemur hooked me up with the beta in 2001. <clears throat> So like by the time the game actually officially released, we're like, oh, we already played through this shit. But other than that, the real like online big MMO, the first one I ever played was Hellgate London. I got the game two weeks before it shut down. That was one of the most amazing things I ever played in my life and it's never been emulated since. God, how good that was. Anybody else out there played Hellgate London? You know, shit.
Yeah, this is like Ragnarok Online. This is 2001 when I played RO. You look online and it says it released in 2003, and I was like, that's after I moved out and moved back home. Like, before I moved out the first time, it was definitely 2001 that we played fucking Ragnarok Online. God, what a good thing that was. Well, my food is here. I gotta have lunch or breakfast, whichever one it is, I don't remember. Stand by. I wouldn't want a Star Fox MMO. I want a game like Mass Effect, but with the Star Fox team instead of the Normandy. Beginning of the game, you start out with all your weapons. And you have an epic fight, but after the fight, all of your shit's damaged and wrecked. And you have to start the game after the first big epic battle with it's like Metroid. You start off with all your badass shit, but then after the epic battle, something happens and you lose all your stuff and you gotta earn it back. You gotta pay off your debt of repairs to General Pepper and then once your debt's paid, then you can start cleaning and upgrading the Great Fox. I'm all up for that. Traveling to different planets, doing bounties and building up your rep until a trigger is activated at some point and Andros starts his war. Hell yeah. Anyway, let me go eat. I'll be back in a few minutes.
already. We're here. Are we here? We're we're back. We're we're good. Just a run-of-the-mill breakfast sandwich and some potato wedges with horseradish sauce. Oh, yes. Кодлоты. А как курицы? Курица. Котлет. Oh, I love chicken котлет.
Now, this is one of the extras in the first shot for episode three. Speaking of, I need to check it out. See, I think at this point I'm just coloring stuff in. Слава, где ты? Ты играешь в игре или нет? Я так думаю. Я всегда один в восьчате. Space dog. What's this? Конечно, это для всех. Но есть экзамен. Или, как сказать, 
test. <laughs> test. <clears throat> Вы должны доказать, что вы человек. <laughs> а, ничего, да. Только послы. Только, только послы. Когда вы на сервере, просто читайте. Просто читайте. Когда вы на сервере. Когда вы находитесь в чате Newcomer. И... и а... В, в нукамаре в чате просто говорите, что вы читали а, правда. Правила. Не правда. Говорите в чате, что вы уже а, читали правилу. Правила. Что вы читали правила. Да, я, я знаю, но вы еще должны а, а, говорить в чате, в дискорде. В дискорде, не в чате, не в чате Твича. В чате Дискорда. Ну, камер. Это хорошее практиковать. Мой грамер так плохо. Я извиняюсь. Все стесняются, когда первый раз на сервере. Когда первый раз на сервере, все будут стесня... стесняются. Или робость, или как сказать. Я точно не знаю слова, я уже забыл. Ах, бля. Хорошо, я вроде понял тебя. А, okay. <laughs> я, я всегда надеюсь. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got now? Just the heads to fill in. And old Nikolai will be finished. Oh yeah. That's a lot I want. <clears throat> it's locked. I'll have to find another way around. Well, thank you, Frisco. I appreciate it. Already working on the next one.
everybody seemed to have liked it. Everybody seems to think it was worth the wait, and that's what makes me feel good. I had a huge uh, insecurity while I was working on it, going like, are people going to watch this and be like, this took way too long for how short and simple it is and whatnot. But now everybody seemed to have liked it. I can promise the new one will come out faster. I know everybody's doing the, hey, can't wait for the next episode in 8,000 years. You know. It's not going to take that long. If you've been following any of the production, you, you, if you've been following the production since the blender, Eureka, Jesus, what a year that was. Best year of my life so far was 2020, I would say. Just be like, like aside from all of the recent years where I've been able to do this and stream and stuff for a living, like 2020, as far as, as far as the artistic evolution of my style and technique goes yeah 2020 that was the year that's like holy fuck it's like finding your main drawing program for the very first time i don't know how to describe it i thought i was gonna get some big amount of relief with the release of episode two but it just kind of felt like all right it's out you uploaded the new clip and it was really long and people liked it. All right, get to work on the next one. It's better than the release for episode one, that's for sure. God, what a shitty weekend that was. I don't want to bring anyone down, but we had two pet deaths within four days of each other starting the morning after episode one was released and that sucked so I, I have no like good memories of the release of episode one episode two episode two is great episode two like the 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 premiere my very first ever premiere on youtube it was fun there were over five thousand people watching at one point that was really neat. Now this time's great. I, I think there's still a lot of people who don't believe that it's out or didn't get, you know, any kind of notifications, but I'm glad that, that people liked it. I spent a really long time on it. This, these three episodes are my love letter to Star Fox. It, it, it saved my soul and, and when I was a little kid it was like the most amazing thing that could possibly have happened to me as a kid was the, that first Star Fox game holy shit so I wanted to make something for it you know and, and when, it, when I did and it's over with and it's out of the way then I want to move on to my own stuff Is that it? Is he done? Is he like 100% done? Yeah, I still go back and play a couple of the older ones every now and then. The first one's still my favorite. I'm sorry, I got the first one. Like, I was waiting months and months before the game even came out, before the commercials on TV. I was like following it in video game magazines like Game Pro and Electronic Gaming Monthly. EGM and Game Pro, the Coke and Pepsi of video game magazines. God, if you grew up in the 90s, you remember Game Pro and EGM. I would get each one every now and then. I had every issue of EGM from September 1992 up until, fuck, almost 2000. It was a huge stack, and then I had to throw them all away when we moved. I wish I didn't. They weren't in the greatest condition, but man, I was proud of that stack.
A house gecko? <laughs> God, those guys have spots all over their bodies. That take me ages to animate. Maybe it's a house gecko that has no, no spots on it.
Ba-dum. Oh, you're alive. Are you already awake? Uh, yeah. Internal clock. I had no choice. This is looking good, though. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm done with Nico I. What up, Kitty? Слава еще не здесь. Сейчас у Славы нет электричества. Не знаю, как сказать дальше. Did your power go out? Yes. Mm. Нет электричества. что сейчас они работают, чтобы это исправить. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, if that's it for Nikolai, then I just have to animate Piotr and the shot will be done. God, it's taken me like two weeks to get this shot done. But I also had to set it up. I'm also just starting. I don't think people will mind. I'm, I'm working as hard as I can. We even have to, I'm gonna have to make a, a background song like the Italian music in the restaurant. I'm gonna make another song that's just, uh, not Kino, but it will sound like a Kino song. That's not too bad, because I was working on Homeboy right here for a couple days. And this stuff is all done, too. pencils that are slowing everything down. Is it because you have so many at once? Yes.
better. Are the alerts hidden? show up I heard it just now I was tabbed away nobody's done any alerts in like an hour or so as far as I can tell I can do an alert I can do a test one real quick why not God, this is the worst day of my life. Oh, it got worse. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what, what licensed music. I, I don't know if I would use licensed music in it. You mean like pop music and stuff? I don't think I would use that in a Star Fox movie. I'd have to use an original soundtrack. What is this, Earthling music? I feel like... It's, I think it's called Disco? Like, no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I would, I would break my immersion in a Star Fox film. I'm a nerd about stuff. Classical and jazz instrumental stuff that might be different. I don't know.
so now I just have to animate this guy chewing his food and nodding and being like, hey, look up there. Hmm. And obviously have a puff of smoke coming out of this guy's mouth when he exhales. Well, the fact that, that so many people liked the movie is, it gives me hope. Even if the movie wasn't perfect and it felt kind of weird in places, uh, I haven't seen it yet. But, but I feel that what everybody's saying about it is a damn good starting point for a Mario movie. Sonic did all right. Like, it, it's not bad. Because I mean, we, we've been suffering uh, regarding video game to movie remakes or whatever. All right, who's next? This guy.
Ah, fuck a siren. President one. Spurdy to learn Russian. Как давно вы уже изучаете излитный секрет? Я не против сказать. Have a good time, space dog. Пока, пока. I just wanted to learn. Даже мне было только пять или шесть лет. Я еще хотел чтобы я учусь говорить по-русски. На телевизоре были мультики из 80-х советского телевизора. Простите за грамматику. У меня очень маленький словарный запас. Декрест 13 gifting a sub to Rabbit's Eye. Thank you. Очень много. Большое спасибо. <laughs> v- очень big. Very big. Большой. Big. Большой. Спасибо. <laughs> That was like a borderline, like if Schwarzenegger were trying to do Trump. Cocainum. <laughs> Schwarzenegger trying to do an impression of Donald Trump if he was Russian. God, that's a multi-level challenge to see. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you I'm doing I'm doing an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger doing an impression of Donald Trump. Uh, here's my impression of Donald Trump first. Then I'll move on to doing Donald Trump if he was Russian. Is let's see. Uh, Uh, I'm Donald. I'm gonna build a wall. I'm, uh, I'm gonna build a wall ski, cause I'm Donald Trump ski. Uh, Ocean Minoga. I came in here. A bunch of people said this place is very Ocean Minoga. <laughs> so I can't do that. So it's, <laughs> it's all dude. I believe my mosque. <laughs> Не могу, не могу, бля. Ой, бля, 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 благодарю вас, добро пожаловать. Я так не сказал, что ты говоришь мне. А, простите меня, я шучу. Thank you for calling Russian pizza, pizza ski. <laughs> If you want the pizza sometime in the next few days, leave your name, your number, <laughs> your ICQ number, whether or not you're susceptible to COVID-19 or any other airborne disease. <laughs> oh my God, I can't get distracted here. I've been doing all right. You close your motorcycle, your flashlight. Oh, I don't have one of those. I said flashlight. Not flashlight, you you idiot. Flash, flash, damn it. I want to go to one of those conveyor sushi places. Those are pretty good. Probably be Fox's drill instructor. 
going through the, the like 18 year old boot camp like you're you're, you're in academy but like the second you get out of academy and you're 18 you, you go into the rough stuff maybe or something and and yeah like you would uh now uh the G gator from the hot rodders i want to be voiced by meat canyon or hunter hancock i'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind i already have all of the voices for the hot rodders who i want to voice them If you're familiar with the Hot Rodders, I'm not. I'm not asking yet, but I will be. Uh, Cat Monroe. I've got a couple people in mind. Anton Cool, the Blue Cat guy. I want the Minute Hour to voice him. I want Meat Canyon to voice Gator. Mauser, I'm just gonna call him Mauser. I mean, it's literally Mauser. I don't know what his first name will be. Mauser, I want voiced by Joel Haver. And the robot guy, I want Drew Longlois to voice the robot. And, uh, and we'll, we'll see who else from there. I, yeah, I do have a picture of them. Now, this is a very old picture, but these are going to be their designs. And I got confirmation Kai will be coming back to voice Slippy. I told him I felt bad that he didn't have any lines in episode two, but Slippy would be like nine years old. <laughs> he's, he's a year or two younger than Fox, so like, it, I don't know. Like, his dad was in there, but but they're they're all gonna meet. The, this is the scene where it's the birth moment of the Star Wolf team, but at the same time. I want to have the scene where we're f it, the Star Fox team isn't formed, but Fox meets his his friends. I may actually have a scene where where Fox sits with with Peppy and Beltino and Slippy, and they're all talking about like plans and and working on stuff together. And then, you know, Falco walks by and, and, you know, they're talking about stuff or whatever, but it, it just kind of low key the moment that it's like these guys all just met here for the first time and something's going to come of this. I'm going to spend some time writing it out. It's got to be perfect. It's got to give people chills. <clears throat> Episode 3 is going to have a cold open. I don't know. I, I, I could do a previously thing and get all the, the other stuff out of the way. But I, I can't. I, I, I think I'm just going to... It's going to be the last one. It's got to be a cold open. The main reason I put the previously things at the beginning of the episodes, it was an easy way to tell as much story as quick as possible and get you started in the middle of the story. It'll be once upon a time, there was this character. Let's ha have the whole scene of them waking up and brushing their teeth and da da da, and then introduce this character. No, no, I, I, I need too much time for that. Nah, 
Star Fox Adventures is not canon in my cartoon. Doesn't that doesn't mean I'm not going to use Crystal or General Scales? Those two, sure. I'm not going to have any four-legged, fire-breathing, magical dinosaurs or a, a warp stone god or any of that stuff like that. It's it's too rare. It's too rare, as in the co the company rare. It, it's it's too rare and and not raw Nintendo Star Fox. It, it it's too disconnected. I don't know. N nothing against it. The game's fun. I, I like Star Fox Adventures. It's a beautiful game. It's fun, but it's it's like an ocarina of time with animal people and a flying mini game. Fair is only three years older than Fox. Like, they, they start dating later, sure, but... You don't know that until episode three. I just spoiled everything. Might as well not do it now. That's now, it, you're off the hook. Yeah. Hey, I'm free! Let's cut to the violence. Svabodin! Uh... But no, there's, there's not going to be a huge emphasis on them dating or anything. It just... This is, this is Echo the Dolphin from Sega Genesis. What's the other one? Growl. This is a dope soundtrack. I used to listen to a lot of the OC remixes of the Echo soundtrack. The Echo Hell soundtrack yeah. itself was good, but a lot of those were really kick-ass, too.
I'd like to try to have him show up, but there's no telling for sure. done now. Is this going to be the thing where the, just the mouse cursor doesn't work anymore? Okay, never mind. That was not fun at all. Hey, what's up? Hey, man.
kind of changed. I always just figured it was they hired a different voice actor. I don't know. Feeling all right today, Slava? Yeah, of course. Assuming you drank enough water the other night. Of course. Maybe even too much. Nah. Extra water is good. Not not to the point where you die, but. Dude, I was drinking straight from the top yesterday. <laughs> I've been there. My man.
Forneria, fourth planet of the Lilac system. And Dross has ordered us to take you down. And Dross has ordered us to take you down. Yes. I bet you don't like people chewing with their mouths open. Moisturized. Oh, God. <laughs> See, one time where they were waterboarding Fox McCloud, trying to get him to tell him some stuff, and Fox is just like, nope, I'm not going to do it. He's a tough little son of a gun. And, and, uh, Panther is sitting in a chair on the other side of the room, eating potato chips with his mouth open. And Fox's ear just starts, like, violently twitching on that side of his head. And, and just like, look, he's like, you're never gonna, you're, you're never gonna get this information. Will, will you please stop doing that? Will you please stop doing that? <laughs> like, over. And they all just kind of like slowly look over at each other and then it just cuts back and they're all sitting around Fox just disgustingly chewing their food with their mouth open in his ears and he's just shrieking in agony. It's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> This is the, like this is a war crime. <laughs> They're just like opening these other beds, just like the most disgusting ASMR like mouth noises you could possibly imagine. It's just like all, in surround sound, like all members of the Star Wolf team just, <laughs> just so gross. That was an old script. That's from like ten years ago. Yeah, I can't handle that. better than I thought it would. Slav, it's done. Yeah, the, ho the whole uh, animation, right? The, the all, all the lizards, all five of them. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see you on the screen. How's it look? Might it's make really them nice. blink a little bit more. But... <laughs> They're gonna be so tiny on the screen. <laughs> took like 12 days that's okay that that includes like making the background and stuff we spent like a week getting the background and stuff looking just right same people from a closer angle higher detail
I should have had more than this done in 12 days. But this is also with someone animating this guy and animating this guy. I did these three. And I had one person do this one and one person do that one. So it's a start. I had a little help on this one. Slava made the background. I'm spending a little extra time on this shot because it's the very first shot of the cartoon. Yeah, Rex and Bubba are helping me out right now. turn their shadows on. There we go. <laughs> That's enough. That's like I don't have to make the the animations any more intricate because they're they're literally going to be this big on the screen. It'll be good enough. Let's, let's do a, a 4K screenshot. How much am I allowed to show boss? I don't understand. I can show you all whatever. There is no NDA. Okay, where is the... Okay, this is an actual 4K render. I think it's only one cent, one, uh, no, that's 64 samples. <clears throat> oh, okay, I get you. I, well, I mean, I don't have much to show. This is the first episode, or the first scene of episode three. That's what I'm working on right now. And uh, after this shot, we're going to move over here. Shot of them staring over while Wolf is landing the ship. And shot three will go back over here where Wolf is. I don't know exactly what the shot's going to be for shot three, but it doesn't take me that long at all to figure that stuff out. It's just when I get the animation done, then it's just straight ahead to the next shot. get to that. I'll usually do one whole scene in one file if I can help it. Like this file here It'll be this shot, then this shot, then the next shot, and a couple shots after that. Each file is usually about a minute long, two minutes long, or shorter. It just depends. If everything in this scene is just done in this one big area here, there's no need to have another file. You can link all this world stuff out to an external file and just, like, link everything in on this and have this be the full one. And then when they go somewhere where there's like a mansion or a house or 
or it cuts somewhere where it's out in, out of the atmosphere and in someone's R wing out in space or something, then then I would switch to a different file. Yeah, when I did the original Fox and Space episode, every single time the camera changed angles was a completely different file. Yeah, hang on a sec. I'll be right back. Yeah, this is one file here. Just to give you an idea. You guys are going to be cruising at about 0.5. That's four hours right non-stop to Venom this time of year, so I hope you don't mind being cramped up in there for that long. I'll be all right. We'll be fine, Bell. Okay, stand by. This encrypted channel does not exist. We are not using it. Do you both understand? Yes, I understand. Great. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna play a message that wasn't left with someone's secretary this morning. Pepper, it's Cobra. I found him. What you want? I've got him right here. I'm gonna take the tack line all night tomorrow night. Tripmaster is the only railway left with no surveillance. That's the Venoma City Loop at 111 Local. You want? Do you want me to play it again? No. Okay, guys. Charge your crews. Charging. Charging. Yeah, this whole thing was one big file. Ranks, visiting the Cornerian Embassy in Venoma City, hence the paperwork and uniforms. And the thing is, when you externalize each one of these little bits of animation of the characters, you can send like my cruise is charged, like Peppy here for the the my cruise is charged part. This is just one single uh, grease pencil object from from this range to this range, and you can export and link this file back in or link this object in from an external file. So if you have that on a network drive, someone can log in, edit Peppy's animation in its own individual external file and save it while you're in this main work file working with everything else. And when they've updated it, you just refresh this file and it will automatically load in what they've saved. So you can have the big master work file like this with each of these individual pieces of them in this file but linked in from an external file one file for each of these like this shot of james here james shot 10 this is camera shot 10 and this is these are all of his frames right here and someone can access james shot 10 dot blend and edit those frames while i still have this open i've already loaded it in it's just in ram so if someone's like, oh, I fixed James and shot 10, so I would just go revert and just reload the file and all the changes on this file, on this object, would be reloaded in from whatever they had just saved on the network drive. And that's how I'm doing it moving forward. Making a full backup somewhere else every night, of course. But the way I have it set up right now, even on my OneDrive, if, if any of my animators are logged into my OneDrive right now and they make a change to one of those files, it will automatically upload it and overwrite the one on my hard drive. And I just hit refresh and it'll reload the file. Like, this is, 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 I'm still setting it up. I'm still setting up everything for for my workflow for for people to do animation for me but if we're, we're already there we already have a workflow but i'm slowly improving it just with little things here and there where where everything can be done remotely and i don't even have to like open files or anything i don't have to be like all right bubba send me the new version like bubba can just go in there he can and just drop the file in 
and I don't even have to do anything. It's just, it's already there. I can just hit render and it will automatically update all the frames. I'm closing the channel now. Yeah, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to do it, and I can't wait to show everyone else how to do it. I'm super excited. Well, <laughs> time to make the new grease pencil objects for these guys. Yeah, if I ever got into VR chat again, I'd have to get another VR headset. Mine's kind of got the drift going. Or get the controller fixed for it, at least. They've got it where it's like the, the, the thing's like $400, and if you mess up a controller, you have to buy a new controller for $200. It's like half the price of a new headset. I was like, well, I might as well just get a whole new one at that point. I hate that shit.
Avoid the Zuck at all costs. <laughs> you got Zucked? They might have dropped it because they're literally hemorrhaging money out of the building. But that's not going to make me go, Oh, they listened. I trust them now. <laughs> they're funneling it in through a different hole. I, let me show you the example of a, a file that I had to split. But as long as you externalize all of the files, you usually don't have to for a long time. Like this one here. This is over two minutes long, and it's one file. This is all of these scenes in one file, and I had no problem working on it. But as, long, as soon as you finish, in each one of these, these are all different grease pencil objects for James and Dessler. Each one is for one camera shot. Every time one of these these areas down here switches to a new shot it's a completely new grease pencil object of the character completely completely uh, different you would you see what Ross was up to what he was really up to you would have given those to pepper years ago instead of hiding I them destroy them right now you won't it was her work just as much as yours. <laughs> Geniuses. I dropped out of Accretions 1. You see me animating them on and off. Because even if they're empty, this is very important, even if they're empty, if they're all visible, it will make it chug. If you have effects and, and modifiers over here, even if your object is empty, it's still processing these and slows it the hell down. Are you all right? I'm fed. Just a couple days, no sleep. This is such an ugly planet. I haven't had so many frames just on the damn blood thing. It's really hard to tell if you look at his nose and his teeth when he's talking. <laughs> this is such an 
ugly planet. Hang on, this hand. <laughs> I never it's really hard to see on the YouTube video. Yeah. Go get some sleep. And this is where I split the file. Gave a couple. Hey, you're not supposed to know how he died. Not yet. And, uh, and what was the next file? And this one is about the same length. Yeah, two and some change. But it's you know the same background and everything, but once again, everything is its own completely different grease pencil object for every shot. Did James shot three, Paul shot three, Clem shot three. Everything's named and organized all up here. Your friend looks tired. Your compliance, Captain. I do not want a fuss. I don't want to kill you, Eckblade. You know I'm walking off this train. This is why I warned you bring your gun today. My partner seems to think that I, I know what he said. Warning. Get right, us. I forgot to draw his armband. Fuck. Oh, well. Come on, Jim. That's another thing you can barely see it here, but. Barely see blood starting to trickle down his head here. Come on, Jim. <laughs> A few tiny little things. But yeah. You can see this. Detritus. <laughs> Killing people with Candyman. That's the real Candyman right there. Detritus. Come on. Come on, Jim. You can't see him that well in the final shot. You can barely make out his muzzle and eyes after all the effects. But yeah, he's, he's definitely up there. Good Lord. I put a couple other computer things over here on the side just to be like, oh, blinking lights, whatnot. But if you look for just a moment, you see it. I wanted the people to notice it on the second or third watching, but not the first. There's a couple of those. Premier Andros will speak with you. <laughs> I suppose he will. Excellent! Now they're they're cybernetic augmentation thingies. Thank you for the sub, Jade. Captain. Your friend looks tired. But anyway.
save that. Oh well. We still good. I got time for a break. I don't want to take too long to finish this one either. do my best to get the third one out as fast as I can. Yeah, I, I, of all of the near-death experiences and stuff in my life, uh, the, the biggest thing that I lie awake at night and shudder about and, like, can't believe that I survived is, that, like, moving away from Flash. I, I shudder at night in bed thinking of where I would be right now if I didn't make the switch. If I had no idea what Blender was or, or to try out Grease Pencil. Granted, I tried it years and years ago, and, and, and Grease Pencil wasn't quite where it needed to be. And then, like, two or three years later, it, 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 I stepped off the platform at just the right time.
Oh no, they're just random gameplay videos I got off the internet. I'm trying to get as many people as I can to convert over to Blender. Not just for me, but like for their own projects. It's just, it's a hassle at first. You have, it's like learning Linux. You have to go in and completely relearn how to draw a little bit. It's not how to redraw in your own style, but how to translate your style into a different drawing program. And it happens to everybody. Everybody... We'll make a jump from Photoshop to Clip Studio or something. You've got to relearn an entire user interface. Blenders is a little more challenging unless you have someone to answer your questions and help you with stuff. And I'm, I'm here for that anytime you need it. Mainly just so nobody has any excuses. Slav, I'm still looking at that picture you sent me yesterday, you fucking rat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, you mean of me being stoned, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah dude, uh, I still was alright on this picture because like in 10 minutes I was like mm, much worse. <laughs> because yeah, yeah guys don't, don't mix uh, the wheat <laughs> and the alcohol it wasn't a good idea yeah get, get da vinci resolve da vinci resolve is one that i'm in that boat right now where i've never really used it except once or twice when doing a tutorial and i don't know anything about it or how to use it and Rex is already like, oh, well, you just go in here and do this and this menu and these nodes and this, this, and this. And so I'm going to have to get Rex to show it to me. But that's why I tell everybody here, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci. Like, it, it's, yeah, you have to pay for it if you want something that's 4K. You can do things up to like, 1660 or whatever but if you want to do 4k you got to buy the the pay version for it other than that you don't mind doing 1080 it's it's free and it's amazing it's 
to rebind your audio ports. Well, hopefully they make a fix for that soon. And also, the, the more feedback that that they accept and the more bugs that they fix, the more I will support a program. It's like Adobe. It's like talking to an AI anytime that you try to get a bug reported, let alone fixed. And usually most of the bugs that I report in Blender are fixed in like 48 hours. I'm not even joking. Like I get an email notification. This has been set from needs triage to confirmed. This has been set from confirmed, resolved, and closed. Like they really do that. Even reason my, my musical program, I bought a physical USB launch key. And when I get a little extra money and I get my taxes paid and my credit card paid off, I'm going to make, uh, I might just make one of my older PC computers that I'm not using anymore, like the old one that from 2016, and just turn that into a standalone, never updated musical computer that does all of my audio stuff, all of my music stuff, and everything on that computer. And I can just leave it on, or or just no internet, no nothing, just the samples, just everything that I need on one computer. And I never have to worry about Windows 10 updates or any of that crap. I look forward to the day. Just a standalone copy of whatever programs, even if I've got to, you know... If, if, if I have to, 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 just to get a computer that, that stays the same forever. A computer that that never has to be updated. I never turn it on one day and it's like, oh, th this protection fault, blop, bleep, blorp, zero F E nine, four B or whatever. And then have to go and uninstall windows update KB 99 55 derp a derp. And like, no, just a standalone computer that just, I don't have to do anything. You know, this is the thing. In 20 years, I don't know if I'll be using that, that same program, but if in 20 years I want to break out Reason and I can't because I don't have the license for it anymore, I'll, 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 I'll find a way to make it work. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do believe in planned obsolescence. I do believe the companies still do that shit. That's horrible. Yeah, I don't like the UI of Reason either. I, I don't use Reason directly. I use it as a, a, a rack. I use the Reason Rack plugin so I can use Reason as a plugin for FL Studio. And that's nice.
Hell yeah, I, I love trading information on this stuff. So I didn't talk to my buddy Stuart, the guy who does the saxophone in a fox in space. Uh, I never would have learned like 90% of the stuff I know about FL Studio now. He showed me what the rewired plugin would do, where you can actually like loop in other DAWs into FL Studio with zero lag as a sound input. Like it, it changed my life. That like <clears throat> Stu showing me how an audio interface works and and how you can rewire like reason into FL Studio and using FL Studio as the sound device. Like that was like my music version of discovering Blender. Oh my God. Chucky season three. What is Chucky like? Like is that the the show about the killer doll? I didn't know there was a series. they'd recently like done a subvertive or subversive uh, movie where like they completely reimagined it or whatever but I hadn't heard anything other than that
did I ever get into Metal Gear? Of course. Getting the third one out as fast as I can. Well, I am taking a, a little time. Oh shit, that's what I was afraid of. That's a flipped image. How are we going, Jim? We'll see you around. Yeah, I will definitely stream about the violence when I get onto that project. But it's it's going to be kind of under wraps until I finish episode three. When I get about halfway through episode three, that's when I'm going to start working on the violence and getting it ready to go.
Hey, dude, what's going on? be pretty cool. Excellent. Thank you, Sopara. Appreciate it. Jaded. Sorry if I forgot that.
I mean, I know they kind of tried to do that on GameCube, but apparently it wasn't very well received. A friend, my mom, and my sister all helped make it. Yeah, the, the, it's, it's, it's pretty old. I've had the, the jacket itself for almost eight years. But uh, the, the, the leather on the shoulders and on the inside is starting to flake off just because it's old. So I had the jacket for a long time before I did anything to it. And get it repaired and put it in a glass box or something and hang it up somewhere.
I would love to make a series in Polish, like a Polish animation about these other lizard guys. Like a, I don't know, like a, a Polish street gang of lizards. That would be pretty neat. Like a Kira, but in Poland, and it's and everybody's a lizard. Like kind of like the the starting of that, not the story of Akira, but like that that kind of thing, like a a a, a rowdy gang of of young lizards that are not really evil, but whatever, and then they uncover some military thing. I don't know, that would be pretty neat. <laughs> but no. Uh, If I had a million gajillion zillion dollars and I could fund any movie or series or whatever that I wanted, I would get Guillermo del Toro to do a series or a, a very long movie of based on the video game Darkwood. I would get Guillermo del Toro and his whole like prosthetic creatures team and all that special effects group and and make a fucking dark wood movie and hire the people who wrote the game and it's like okay you guys work with the writer of such and such and do not sway one iota from what you want to to make the movie about if 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 you want to keep it 99.99 percent accurate to the game or even a hundred percent i want to see that because no one ever does it everybody's got to like change something up i want to see just a, a, re a recreation of a game like one to one no switching characters and and no like oh instead of this being a character it's it's a car and they drive it and and all that bullshit like just a one to one like if you played through the game and beat it yes you're going to know exactly everything that happens people don't mind that They're like look resident evil 4 remake Everything pretty much happens the same way, and nobody cared. It, it, it was a great game, 10 out of 10. I would I would do a one-to-one -one remake of, of or a one-to-one -one adaptation of Darkwood, directed, produced, and everything by Guillermo del Toro. Like the, the special effects team that, that, that could do the creatures. Of course, get Doug Jones to to mocap or, or, or act as. Uh, gosh. Hmm. Who would be his his star character in that? I mean, I don't want to think about it because it's just going to make me sad. I'll give him another 20 years AI will be able to do something like that. I wouldn't want that though. I would I would want Guillermo del Toro to make it. Something's different about the way I drew these pants, and I like it. Just don't be afraid of sharp edges.
Und die Tore, die Oh, this music makes me think of <clears throat> hmm. if there was a Resident Evil game that took place during cowboy times this would be the save room music <laughs> uh, this is just a track called glider from some Bruton uh, music library album but I, I made it into a loop I thought it was pretty neat I want to go through the original Resident Evil again. I just beat Code Veronica this morning. Damn. Finally, after 20 plus some odd years. Oh, Capcom has not confirmed that Resident Evil 9 is going to happen, huh? But people are claiming that there is an RE9. Rumors and whatnot. Damn. I'm going to relocate downstairs. I'll be All just right. a few minutes.
Okay, Baron, how's it going? Yeah, it's just a little bit afternoon right now. I've been at it for a while. Glad I, I, I'm glad I got my version of James's story mostly told, or at least the the, the personal canon established.
Hey, Soft, how's it going? What are you up to, Slava? I'm just sculpting. How's it going?
got to figure out how I'm going to do the grass in this scene.
Новые, а тоже старые. Я не пользовался этим четыре года.
couldn't figure out why I couldn't uh, fill stuff in, and then I had it on multi-frame mode for some reason. Lord help my dumb ass. Hi, baby. Where's my baby? Not gonna. You're not gonna come over here and say hello? Yeah, I'll get him to say hello. Yeah. What is it, baby? Does it want a yummy? Does it want a yummy? <laughs> you don't want it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Got a puppy down here. Mm. Mm. I personally want the taco bake. I'm happy for anything. I really like how Nikolai turned out here. I still have to design Leon and Leon's dad.
Sub Zach, appreciate it. It, it's a slightly sped up version of this. This is the channel of the person who made it.
Hikiri Yamaoka. I'm not familiar. Oh, is that the the, the person who did a lot? Yeah, I. I can't remember. I can never remember who did what music for the game. whoever did the music for the first game like the twangy guitar stuff you get like toward the end of the game uh, that's some of my favorite This shit. I could listen to this all day. Like the, the tracks from Silent Hill that were this kind of genre of music. I've just been agreeing with you this whole time on mute. That's cool. I'm so smart. Loud. Oh, okay. Hint taken. I think your microphone is up your nose. Yeah, oh, I just bumped a, it. A, yeah. A strong draft. Sorry. That. Yeah. What are you working on? Uh, castings right now.
thanks I appreciate it sorry I'm a little wound down <laughs> I think we're at nine hours now but I'm here I'm, I'm still going Throwing the voice around. <laughs> All depending on what you want me to say. <laughs> Yay. I don't know if that threw it. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I heard. <clears throat> God, those lights really do reach that far, don't they? I'll have to fix that.
I have a couple little things on ArtStation, but I don't regularly post anything there. If I ever do post any art-related stuff and it's not on my Patreon, it'll probably be on ArtStation. I just kind of have that as an archive for now. I post stuff on my Patreon all the time. At least now I am. I'm, I'm trying to get a little better about that. I've just been so damn busy working on episode two. But now I've got a little time.
Hello. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey. some Hawaiian sweet roll breakfast sandwich sliders. Oh, Damn. nice. Yeah, man. They're the kind that come in the bright orange package. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I miss those so much. We don't have those here, I don't think. They're really easy to make, though, if you really wanted them. Aloha, Canada. King's Hawaiian Sweet Rolls making their way to a grocery store near you. This was September last year. Mm. That's that's the one, King's Hawaiian. Hmm. I think that's a milk bread. Mm-hmm. Fry one of those Hawaiian sliders in peanut oil. Fuck. Oh, f I'd do it. I'd try it. The real killer is frying up like a thin slice of spam. Putting that in the Hawaiian roll with a little bit of uh, mayonnaise. Dude, almost 10 hours. I'm getting there. Oh wait, no, I'm just in my in our basement. <laughs> I just do this at home in my basement. I'd like a studio one day though.
I can't wait to do the Banya scene. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just going to be like four seconds. But, but I, I, there's going to be all of these scenes where Wolf just goes through this spa. Maybe you can help me with that. <laughs> It's it's basically him and you new sitting there talking about like opportunity and blah 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 and the conversation. It's doing the thing where he's he's having the conversation and right in the middle of a sentence it'll just cut to them sitting in another place getting a massage or something. And the, the sentence is continuing like it just instantly cuts with them in the, the different places in the middle of the sentences. And uh it's just gonna be this fancy place, like poolside, and 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 w one of the shots. <laughs> Wolf is Wolf is gonna be lying on his stomach, and this old lizard lady is gonna be whacking him with those herbs or the 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 laurel leaves or whatever. I can never remember what the the leaves are called. They have those for sale at the Russian pharmacy by my house. Bunches of dried branches and leaves from white birch, oak, or eucalyptus are used for massage and to facilitate heat transfer from hot air to the body. The dried branches are moistened with very hot water before use. Sounds nice. <laughs> this is an old lady whacking wolf with a fucking eucalyptus branch. <laughs> just, 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 I, I, it, I don't know. There's gonna be like five people that watch my cartoon and be like, ah, ah that's how we do it. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's right. Wolf doesn't like any of it. Like he, he gets there and he realizes, like, oh boy, this is my life and this is this is where it's going. But he still feels kind of bad. He tells himself that he did it to save his dad's motorcycle club, but that's just his excuse for doing it. He was gonna pretty much do it anyway. Or, or once he saw that there was an opportunity for that, even even if his dad came to him the next day and was like, oh, I've solved all of our problems. Here's all the money that and I can pay that guy off. He he he'd probably still have done it. I don't know who's to say. <laughs> it's interesting to think about. Gonna have more work for y'all to do very soon. Right on. Just uh I mean not yeah. right now, but probably when I get up from whenever I go to bed. Mm-hmm. I mean I was supposed to be up for another five or six hours. You could have yourself a little half and half calf. Maybe. Mm. Sometimes even just hot decaf tea will keep Ooh, me up yeah like a nice midday earl gray or something like that yeah, decaffeinated earl gray mm -hmm. i think i have those I, yeah i think i will i'm gonna start doing the tea thing again i think dude it's so great since i'm not gonna be like tea during the week and a drink here or there on the weekends and i, and I think it'll, it'll give me something to look forward to during the week because i love making tea I also learned that a lightly caffeinated hot beverage with or shortly after a meal will keep your hunger in check for the uh, mm. remainder of your day or the, 
few hours. God, I want to want a tea now. Do it. I still need to commission you to do a, a BRB tea to go along with the BRB soup. If I had it, I would drink tea more often so I could use it. What is this? Is it more memes made from my cartoon? Twitter switched its Twitter logo to the Doge thing. What? <laughs> I don't think I want that. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want that. Can I turn that off? Oh, I see it. Uh, <laughs> wait, when did that happen? It was a few days like ago. last it, week. Yeah. You know, yeah. Was yeah. Elon just doing it as a troll to get Dogecoin going? Well, who, it was actually related knows? to... No, dude, it was this whole stupid thing. I mean, it's Elon related, so that's my take on it anyway, but... And this was when? It was like, uh, like last week, midweek, around like Wednesday to Friday, somewhere around there, I want to say. Around Friday, you say, like the 6th or the 7th? Yeah, about then. Uh, so I see. Yep. And look at fucking Doge. Building he was build trying to... Oh my god. He was trying to throw, like, attention off of something else that he was under hot water for. Uh. And so he, of course, used Twitter to do that. Man, yeah. Doge just... It hurts to even... It, I don't even, like, look at crypto anymore. Like, I got in, I could have, like... There's one point where if I had pulled out my hundreds of dollars, they would have been a few thousands of dollars, but everything fell off and, and two of the places that I had crypto in keep sending me this, we're so sorry, you can't pull your money out right now. We're working on it, we promise. Please don't just... pull out, please. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the sound of coins falling out. Yeah. That's the sound of my ass getting pumped and dumped. <laughs> pumped and okay. Dumped. <laughs> it's that kind of a stream now, huh? <laughs> well, that's what they call this shit a pump and dump, where they make a new coin and they're like, hey, get new coin. And all the people are like, hey, I'm going to invest in this coin. And then they just dump it and get all their money out. Dump it. Dump it again. Man, I've watched like two tutorial videos on how to build your own custom mechanical keyboard, and now I really, really want to do it. Wait, you want to make what? A mechanical keyboard. Like you can you know, buy the kit and like do the customized thing or what? Yeah. Yeah. I've been recommended a few of those lately. Did you share one recently? No. Hmm. One guy was talking about the thock sound or whatever that was something that was very desired well they can be as loud or as quiet as you want them to be yeah yeah and like if i can have the option to make a dynamite themed candy keyboard 
and have it work with Blender and shit. It's like my dream. Oh, you mean like way, way custom, like adding extra buttons and whatnot, huh? Yeah, like like custom keys and everything. Mm. Like it's a whole, like I didn't realize how deep this rabbit hole goes. You know what I heard on the internet? Uh, so basically people have been buying the keyboards from the cash, uh, like, uh, machines, right? Like, which cashiers have, right? Oh! Yeah, and they program them to, like, work with a different uh, shortcuts and shit. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm just having a giant cash register as my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Use that as a soundboard. Hell yeah, one of those Gil Barco things with like 99 buttons on them. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I'd be all over that. It is me, Rorschach. Okay, yeah, I believe it's called uh, POC, POS keyboard. Wait, are, are your names... Sure, yeah, point of sale is what POS stands for. <clears throat> oh! Our, our name's showing up at the... Yeah. Although I don't know if mine says Rex still. Because I changed it to Yummy Butt Mutt because... Okay, it does say Rex. I changed mine to Yummy Butt Mutt for a bit because Harp called me that, <laughs> and it, it really stuck for a bit. But then I forgot that it showed up on streams and everyone started calling me that. Wow. No, you're safe on mine. Wow. These things are cheap. This one has a card reader. <laughs> yeah, and imagine you have something like this, and uh, each button is actually for something like a shortcut. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, dope. yeah. I would love that. Holy crap. Change oh, look friend into this. nickname. Cha oh, friend nick. What? I okay, say something now. Speaking blah, 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 into the mic. Blah, 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 making yeah. mouth fart Same noises. No, I was. Uh, seeing if it's just so everybody on the stream can actually see uh like your your name but also like what we call you like your your at thing yeah yeah like creations where parentheses bubba and so on mm -hmm. i was trying to get everybody set where i could do that it, it was doing it the whole time well, no, no, like the the nicknames. I didn't. Uh, your yours was good, but I didn't have Bubba's. Oh, that's so weird to see it that way. Only when I'm in here, though. Yeah, that that's for me. Like I I can change yeah, your yeah, names yeah. on here. No, 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 that's all good. It's all good. And I can put us in front of the scan lines. Yeah, there we go. Because I don't want the scan lines to mess with that clean but uh oh where did okay it's hiding me and sorry i gotta keep talking so i can see it otherwise it disappears all right uh i think that'll do Full size. Thanks, Clay. <clears throat> Frisco, I'm going to be working on an animated series called The Violence. It's my own original thing. In no way related to Nintendo or Star Fox or anything.
I also had this. I showed this a little while ago. This is my my jacket. <laughs> In case anybody wanted to see it. The the top of it, like I said, this thing's like eight years old. It's a little flaky. I've got to get it, you know, touched up and repaired. This is the... Yeah, yeah, I just took this picture like a couple hours ago. It's just a Levi's jacket that I got and made a... made into James's thing. Uh... I designed the, the, the design, and Boogs drew it out. My sister painted it freehand onto the jacket, and my mom did the embroidery patches. Like, those are legit embroidery patches, too. They, they, like, I sent her the design and everything. If I had a big machine, I would just make a bunch of these and send them to my patrons. Yeah, there's a lot of love in that jacket. <laughs> Mouchly. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Such a meme. Uh, I'm gonna share the one with y'all that Drew shared with me. Whoa. It's a based on an old meme, I guess. I take it Fred remembers no, that one. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't oh, seen okay. you. <laughs> okay, no worries then, no worries then. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, that's great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need that just up on another monitor at all times whenever I get discouraged <laughs> in what I do. I just That will cheer me up. You ever get someone so good that you just do that dance behind them and you just feel like that? <laughs> no.
And does anyone have any life hacks about new shoes eating up your Achilles tendon? You know? Shit sucks so hard. Yes. It's, um... Buy bigger shoes, maybe? I don't know. No, it's a... It's a fuzzy, like, bandage thing you put over the Talk back part skin. of your shoe. Yeah, moleskin. Yeah, I've... I've done that. Put your shoes in the microwave. Little puppy kiss, I believe you, but I also don't. It sounds like a troll move. But it also sounds believable. Yeah, I knew it. Dishwasher keyboard. This is running so damn slow. Actually, that reminds me, when we do the in-betweens, do you want us to simplify the line work when we're done, or do you take care of that? Uh, I know let, I let me do it, because okay. if I make changes in your art, it'll be easier if they have more definition. Like, file space yeah. is not a worry. Yeah, yeah. You just want the raw lines. But I mean, yeah, if, you're sure. do, if you're doing a long... I mean, if you're not filling anything in, your line work's not going to make that much of a big deal I can even if you do simplify it I could you know sample simplify and make the lines more uh, defined again yeah yeah that is more of a curiosity on your preference on how you want to receive mm -hmm. that that's fine
I was trying to Google the name of that grill that they're using, and I just found out that there's a Polish Rakia bar. By What's my that? House. It's like a Polish barbecue restaurant. You mean like how they do Mongolian barbecue and stuff, but Polish? I don't know. I just found out when I checked their website. It's got five stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. Damn. Slava, those are cool as fuck. Yeah, there's the restaurant. It's called Two Brothers. It's Two Brothers. <laughs> it's called Two Brothers. It's called Two Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> two Brothers PDX. They're, they have a bond, these brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Slava, is that the kind that comes with a card reader attached to it, or can you get them without? The card reader? I was looking uh, up that kind of keyboard so. and okay, okay. Most of them look oh, like they're set up I for like know, registers maybe, maybe and they stuff. Are. Yeah. Honestly. But they are just USB connected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I'm seeing a bunch of them for like 35, 40 bucks on AliExpress and I'm just thinking about it because I've wasted $40 on dumber stuff before. Wow, you aren't kidding, Rex. This looks amazing. Yeah, dude. I just want to sit on it. Mm. Sit on it. Oh, no Orbity. So normally we do make homemade pizza. That's usually the go-to, but this Easter we wanted to be sloppy and get like Domino's. So we got like a thin crust situation, a regular and a pan. But I made a, uh, I made a Tom Cruise cake for dessert for everybody. Adding a little more details to these guys since they're up close. Mm hmm. Apparently there's a there's a bunt cake that I, I don't know why it's attributed to Tom Cruise. I don't know if it's his recipe or anything, but it's a cake that he sends to his friends over the holidays. And it's a very like it's a very short list of people that receive a custom cake from Tom Cruise. It's just known as the Tom Cruise cake. It's like a white chocolate coconut cream bunt cake. It's really good. Tom Cruise is a big Starship fan. So he sent me a cake to show his appreciation. I would be both concerned and yet not surprised if Tom Cruise somehow had my address without ever receiving it from me or anybody I knew.
am getting a little bit hungry. All right, I'm back.
Драувнсен. Добро пожаловать. Все в порядке, не надеюсь. Здравствуйте. How's everybody doing? Thank you for the raid. Just working on the first shot for episode three of my cartoon.
doing pretty good each town, just trying to stay busy. Monday stream. Oh, you starting? Mm-hmm. It's Monday. <clears throat> well, shit. Well, let me uh, help you out. Get it going. Well, I don't do it during my intro. Well, no, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. I've still got to finish some of this rendering. Yeah, yeah. Do, do all what you got to do. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. See you later. See you, bud. It's like when I get finished here, that's literally all I'm going to do for the rest of my day is go hang out in his stream. Thank you, Dank. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I, it, things are going to go much better. undeafens and starts talking, I'll know when I can do my thing. Thinking about putting actual, like, particle grass here, just very, very shallow. Soon. 
Oh, 3D. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're doing anything in Blender, don't be a stranger. Come on in. Ask a question if you need to. Anytime I'm here, I, I love helping people with Blender problems. And if it's something you can't do, I'll straight up tell you, like, yeah, they can't do that yet, but... I can definitely try and figure out what the problem is. Hmm. over in just a sec. Lord, what a what a work. What a what a work. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go over there and, and hang out with him. With all my friends. <laughs> I'll probably be back on here tomorrow. You all have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. <laughs> 